and we are recording. Oh my god, wow, we're back. It's another wonderful Wednesday. Anyways, well, I guess the depending hell? on what's... It's not always Wednesday. It's Wednesday today. Last Wednesday... It's Wednesday, my dude. <laughs> it's Wednesday somewhere. Um, last week, or last time... Was last week? Yeah, it was last week. Last week when we played, um, we, we committed murder. We... Wasn't the original plan. The original plan was for someone to murder himself. Good old Todd Von Strahd that we wanted him to off himself. Um, he wasn't down. He said, no, I don't think I will stick this crystal heart in me. Ha ha. And so we said, all right. Well, then you're just gonna die. So we killed him. It was a little bit spicy for a little minute there. But we're good. We all We all made it through in the end. Um, and then when, uh, oh, K2, like, injected himself with Todd when he died, and so that I was cool. Uh huh. You injected yourself with Todd. And, Why is he uh, injected? Because there was, no, there was no needle. Just trying to make it as creepy as possible. <laughs> because, well, yeah, make it because this is my recap, and you gave it to me. So shut up. <laughs> Wow. So, Katu injected himself with Todd Von Strahd. <laughs> and now he's, like, undead adjacent. Well, I guess you're actually, like, undead undead for a while. Um, so and, I decide uh, not to think. Exactly. And then uh, when, when Todd died, he also exploded in money. Um, like, yeah, just, just coins. Just money everywhere. Um, and so now we're rich. We're very, very rich, and we've bagged, I think, all of it up, and we're just going to send it back via teleportation, I guess, to Loric, because how else are we going to get all this money back? Like, 500,000 gold-ish worth of, like, platinum. platinum. No, I know we got platinum, but I think it's, like, in gold. I think it's, like, 500k. No, it's all in platinum. Oh, it's 500k in platinum? I thought that was the equivalent to the gold. Well, the money is, is platinum gold, but equivalent it, to yeah, it, yes, it, 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 coins. It is, yeah, yes. it is 500,000 gold's worth of platinum pieces. Yes. Yeah, right. okay, that's yeah. what yeah. I said. Yeah, 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 yes. I'm just making sure. Yeah, yes, I'm just making yes. sure. <laughs> yes, sorry, you had it correct the first time and everyone else is being pedantic. Okay, thank I'm you. just stupid, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I was just like, wait, I was like, that's a lot more money than I thought we... No, 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 if we had, yeah, had 500,000 platinum, that's 5 million gold. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hang on a second. So yes, we have... The th th yeah, then we literally probably could buy Sarnath. <laughs> we have well. a lot of money. Uh, and then, yeah, now we're, we're basically, uh, we're, 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 we're dealing with this aftermath of money and, um, um... Uh, Briar has buried Todd in the backyard. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's um, right. oh my that's God. where we, that's where we ended off. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Using yeah. Edward's shovel. <laughs> I'd do that all again because I wasn't recording. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 I have to, I'll come up with another way to make the K2 injecting himself with Todd even worse. <laughs> You realize, Tori, that just means that when you get revenge on me next week, I can say whatever the fuck I want about uh, Briar and what she does this week. That's fine. I don't care. Oh, wait, we're going back to Lori. No, this isn't fair. Like, I got a mostly combat rant. That's oh, not. That's cheating. God damn it. And you win this time. I... Okay. Anyway. So yeah. You guys are still in the house. We have uh, rated everything successfully, more or less. More or less. There's an estimated 800,000 gold worth of art in the house, too. Mm, yep. True, true. I, mean, I feel like we should leave maybe we could probably leave some of this behind for like the people of KDVD. They've been through it. <laughs> there is well, physically no way we could take everything. That's what the uh the gold line streets are for. The well, but then they but then they don't have gold. But then they then won't have streets. In, and then they can buy normal streets and still what? have left over to make a normal town. What? <laughs> 
rip up my, my infrastructure to rebuild shittier infrastructure. Better <laughs> infrastructure. What was a fucking reason for a street? I don't know. I think it works fine, and it's not like there's cars. No. What are cars? I don't know. <laughs> I just remember You're doing great. I I you just you gotta imagine how hot is that fucking gold road in the summer? Oh hey yeah, we probably should worry about the curse before the semantics of this. Yeah, by the time we're done trying to figure out what we're gonna do with the money, half the town is gonna be killing each other. Well, well obviously the answer is we're doing this while uh, talking shit. Yeah, let's send send the loot back to Lorik, and then we'll gather all the townspeople to go look at the orb. We do that. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> All right. I will send a message to Reginald to let him know that I am sending a large shipment via teleportation circle that he should keep in the underground warehouse until we get back. Easy enough. Are you sending over just the gold, or some of the artwork, or the grand piano, or...? <laughs> just fill up the grand piano with money. That's what we did. Yeah. We got it. We, I mean, we got to send the piano, because it's full of money. Yeah, true. Because there was, there was like, barely any, like... Like, it, there was barely anything to put the gold in. Yeah. We had to, like, find random shit to put the gold in. The one chest in the house had blankets in it, which Serenix is very happy about, but... There's just like a bunch of empty pillowcases full of gold now. <laughs> platinum, but yeah. But yeah. Golden platinum. Full of money. Money. Yeah. Money. <laughs> Life's great! Joy of all! Yeah, he, uh, he gives you the go-ahead. And you send over a grand piano's worth of gold. As well as the rest of the gold. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> and, and, and everything. And artwork. You send it all over. You yeet it into the abyss. For it to be teleported to the hotel. Leaving you guys in a very nice artless house. <laughs> oh no. However, will we survive ourselves? Turns out that all you really needed was the company. Todd's company? It's a shit company. <laughs> what do you even do? <laughs> uh, easy. Scam artist. Exactly. He's <laughs> <laughs> a millionaire playboy. A philanthropist. Oh, God. I bet he sold distant lands to people. <laughs> the assholes do that. Yeah. That would probably make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to sell me exotic land in this market? Anyway. Wow. 
What now? We're gonna go get everybody in town to come to like the local theater or whatever, or like whatever big meeting place that we could have people come to go look at the orb to end the curse on. Yeah, there's a there's a theater hall. Perfect. You bring everybody, nobody at this point has, has reached the point where they're, um, they're no, <laughs> sorry, nobody else, I should say, at this point has reached the, uh, fanatic stage of cannibalism. You're able to just kind of guide everybody by pushing them gently, uh, to the destination and just... Push them into a seat, if you so wish. For their own viewing pleasures. And you put the orb up on display. And an hour later, <laughs> as everybody stares and ponders the orb, uh... The curse is lifted from the town. Because everybody kind of just snaps back in, into their own senses. And the expression of nothingness and pain goes away from their wonderful, fantastic faces. And then everybody immediately leaves to go home and sleep. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Some even passing out in the chairs. He's like, no, 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 you can't sleep here. The next showing is getting ready. <laughs> there's, there's no way the entire town fit in this one theater hall. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not. I'd say it yeah, it takes probably about three hours to get everybody cleared up. Yeah, that's more believable. And everybody kind of just leaves the hall to get their well-deserved rest. <laughs> Some people just passing out in the street. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's too tired to give a shit. They're like, ah, oh, whatever. This is this is bed now. And then we also just don't give a shit and don't fight it. We did our part. Exactly. You have successfully cured the town of KDVD of a plague and a curse. Wow, we did it. Amazing. Um, Go team. I'm, I'm going to find the bartender who was the only person that is probably like conscious at this point. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to tell him that uh, we investigated the source of the curse Uh turns out the source of the curse was Todd Von Strahd guess he wanted to restart the town or something I don't know uh, but we took care of him uh, the curse is lifted and so now that he is no longer the shadow ruler of this town and also all the other people in charge are dead uh, you guys can just kind of do what you want uh make like a little like town council or something and put all the money that Todd had to line the streets with gold and actually make a good town instead of a shitty tourist destination. 
That's a great idea. I always hated these streets. Too tacky. But it's really hot in the summertime, too. Uh, it doesn't get super hot here, but it, it gets hot enough. I thought the whole point that Todd picked this town was because of all the sunshine that he would full body tan it. Well, sunshine, but not really exorbitant amounts of heat. Right, but it's... I mean, it would definitely heat up the town he... because of the roads. Right, he made the roads out of metal. The metal is going to take in the heat, and then it's going to be hot metal ground. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Appreciate the help. Sure thing. Good luck with the town and everything. Starting over is not easy, but... See what we can do. Hopefully no more, uh... People that want to come through and rule with an iron fist. Cool. I will leave. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You do so. Alright. You already just head back to Loric or you wanna like do something else here? Do not need to return the heart to Porono. What was that? The whole reason we took Todd's heart was to give it to Paronin. Oh. The dragon. We're, we're physically taking it to her? I thought we were just going to keep the heart for ourselves. Did she ask for the heart? I don't remember that. I'm pretty sure that was part of the condition of her <laughs> curing Briar and giving us the, the pearl. I thought she just wanted us to kill him. She didn't ask for any physical proof. Yeah. Okay, I thought she did. No, I was. I came up with uh, the uh, idea no, yes. of well, well, tricking well, him to kill himself by well, 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 out. Okay, no, I think you offered, and she was like, "Yeah, Maybe. okay, I guess." Maybe. And I, I interpreted that as yes, and when where it was a no. I also thought it'd just be cool to have like a shriveled vampire heart, just okay. as like a keepsake. That's that's not something that. Just anybody can have. Oh, you can make a cool necklace out of it. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I was gonna I, say I, like maybe like some cool alchemy. You could, like, make, make oh some yeah, or, 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 or like alchemy. yeah, some kind of like alchemical focus for like a magic item. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Uh, then in that case, no. Cool. I think I think we're good to just head back to work. Briar, are you keeping the orb? For as long as she can. I don't think I had to return it, right? Nope. No, because nope. it becomes like inert after a while, anyways. Oh, that's right. It only lasts like a few days. Yeah. Yeah. Whether well, that means it just becomes a really big pearl, or if it like disintegrates away, and we don't know yet. Probably just like dissipates into sea foam or something. But that is probably the most accurate answer. Yeah. Turns into a lobster and waddles away. <laughs> it turns into it turns into a crab with a knife. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. You, you must duel him to the death, but he is just a normal crab. With a knife. No. That's not a knife. Oh my god. <laughs> We go back to Loric. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> you do so. <laughs> yeah, I like how it's like, yeah, so, uh, keep this, in, keep this in the vault till we get back, and like two hours later, alright, we're here. <laughs> well, yeah. 
It wasn't going to be no. that long. Mm. Yeah, you guys appeared. He's definitely like... A little surprised to see you as he's still trying to push the piano into the vault. Well, I mean, are we are we directly teleporting there, or are we going via the bay? I was just gonna go straight to the hotel. Okay. I, I wasn't sure. You have multiple ways of teleporting us now. Yeah, I mean, it's the same spell slot either way. Mm. And it, I guess it depends, like, do people care? That they have to watch me draw a circle for ten minutes or not? No. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, yeah. E e either way, then we'd have the transit time of getting down there and yeah. then going uh, and going through Lark, and by that time, it's basically the same thing either way. Actually, yeah. it probably takes longer. But my no is no. I don't care. Right. It is. Yeah. So we'll just go straight to the straight to the hotel. Okay. And, and I I see Reginald struggling. Uh, and I just cast animate objects on the piano, so it it takes itself to where it, walks it just rolls itself in. <laughs> it's just no, walking, imagine, walking like, while dancing. This, yeah, this thing's like walking full on. <laughs> <laughs> like the like the the wooden legs become limber, yeah. and it just goes strutting away. <laughs> yeah, it's like they've got I mean, knees. Yeah, on I, the side. I, That's true. I, I think if the object would have like legs, like they animate too. Yeah. I believe they do. Yeah, that sounds Awful. right. I hate it, also it also technically does get a fly speed regardless, so a but... Grand Piano, it doesn't have fucking wheels. <laughs> grand Correct. Pianos have wheels. Yeah, but this is like... That's not very booty. This is the I mean, grand haven't been invented yeah. yet. No, oh, that's not... Wheels! <laughs> <what I'm saying. laughs> <laughs> Stupid, I'll bring it back one second. <laughs> Matt, don't you know? The first wheels were really big. That's too big for a fucking piano. <laughs> it took us many thousands of years to invent tiny wheels. Oh my god. Mike! <laughs> what? Me? <laughs> I'm on your side. <laughs> yeah, but yelling Tori is, isn't quite as fun. You don't get, you don't get the visceral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't really... Hold a T like you can an M. Yeah, guys, get your made-up history correct. God. <laughs> if you guys read the lore, you would know. Oh my god. <laughs> the lore yeah, this is Warwick. God. <laughs> yeah, Mike, this is your place, God. <laughs> yeah, the lore of Gini Vini, which Josh definitely made up on the spot. Oh, yeah. Why didn't you know what Josh was thinking before he thought it? God. Oh, jeez. Okay, I can, I can tell you with a fairly confident accuracy, most of the time it's Family Guy references. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm back. Mm -hmm. The rest of the time it's, it's Spongebob. Like Krabby Patty still moves. Spongebob turned fucking 20 yesterday. No, the Spongebob movie turned 20 Sorry, yesterday. Yeah. I was gonna say, Spongebob's been a lot long, longer long. Yeah. Everyone loves Spinsport. Anyways. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Reginald, don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, still keep it in the vault while we're still here. No reason to move it. Yep. Correct. Hmm. Wait, wait, I need some of this money. <laughs> no! Fancy, bougie no. wizard focus to go buy. <laughs> I am bored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you just scrape a little bit off, scrape a bit off the top. It's fine. Yeah, I just like <laughs> kind of shuffle some some platinum into my bag. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's just a wizard focus. How much could it cost? 4,000 gold? I can't remember how much the bougie one was. He told me, but I don't remember what the price was. Now. I think it was, it was like, like in the thousands. Yeah, uh, it was in the thousands. Oh, uh, okay. I just didn't write down how much. Because you're like, oh, I am yeah. never going to buy this piece of shit. And <laughs> now you are. can. Yeah. Well, my plan was I will only be able to buy this after I sell the crystal heart. Well, technically, you are buying it after you sold the crystal heart. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Plus, now we can sell the crystal heart again. Again, I know I have it as a goal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Double dip in the economy. 
Mm -hmm. Reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's weird. Anybody who buys this heart dies. I don't understand. Oh, <laughs> no, it's, it's just like we just keep on going to moves of sound for like, who should we sell this to? And then like we <laughs> go there and then we end up killing them just for unrelated reasons. And then so it's just like, because, shit, it's, it's a like, cycle. It's, well, I, I mean, it's like everybody that moves with sound keeps referring this heart to keeps dying. I'm pretty oh, sure he wants it. I don't think moves with sound recommended Todd. I think it was it was someone else. I thought it was uh, moves, moves with sound said he would buy it if Todd signed off on it. If Todd also wanted it. I thought I, I thought it was someone else that. It was the jeweler dude, Todd. like in the, yeah. in the in the bazaar. Yeah, it was, it was the jeweler in the bazaar. Yeah, 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 that yeah, 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 and yeah, oh, and, and, and then oh, Kate, okay. yeah, and then Kate was like, "That's sketch," but I know a guy. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. the uh, moves with sound had, had recommended that jeweler. Yeah. Because he has a lot of random shit. Mm -hmm. I thought the jeweler in the bazaar Briar just randomly found. I don't fucking she remember did, she that. She did initially. I, I don't remember the sequence of events. Who gives a shit? Yeah. <laughs> it just so happened that when Moves with Sound was like, hey, I, you go to this guy, and we were like, oh, hey, we've been there. <laughs> yeah. I know that random guy in the bazaar. <laughs> oh, which yes, I Mr. definitely have a name for. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. <laughs> Jewelryman. <laughs> don't fucking give him ideas, damn it. Come up with stupid pun names on his own. Strong wasn't even a pun. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jerry the jeweler. Oh god. The jewel lord. <laughs> Ew. Uh... <laughs> All right, we're done. Anyways. Ew. <laughs> so, so, so Briar scrapes off some of some of the money to go buy a shiny new <laughs> spell thing. I didn't even get to do anything with this cool experimental one. I should just go run around and cast, like, oh, I can only cast two. I should just go cast spells until something happens. <laughs> Rage tools. Yeah, I was Rage like, you, did, you haven't even used it, like. That's true. I used it once to cast shield. Did you? Nothing happened. You, yeah. Don't, no. I don't, you don't, I don't think you need me to take material components for. Mm -hmm. You don't. I don't, think, I don't think any of your spells require material components. <laughs> No, except some of them do. Except for like find familiar, <laughs> but that one's and specific. And comprehend languages. Oh, comprehend. And identify. Languages. Oh, okay. Did you identify anything? No, we haven't. Well, really there identify. you go. <laughs> so well, yeah, you have well, identify. It. Identify also requires a specific material cost. Oh, it does. Yeah, it's a pearl. Well, oh. it's it's not expensive. Yeah, yeah, it's a pearl oh, with a hundred. Right. It's a pearl with a hundred pearl. So That's what it is. I just yeah. comprehend languages. <laughs> Which has never come up. <laughs> but I just cast it for fun. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. It's, it, it's, it's almost like we didn't, we haven't encountered a language that none of us understand. That's because Darkalian understands all spoken language. <laughs> Correct. And and K2 can also become a native speaker of that language once he hears it enough. Yeah, yeah. Right. Once, once I know what the language is. Come to bring my experimental wizard focus into wizard dueling. <laughs> that can't possibly go Oh, God. Oh, that would be funny. Let's do that. Yeah. Wait, what are we doing? <laughs> um, Briar may or may not accidentally set off a nuclear bomb in Lorik. I feel like I just got pressured by God. My wizard, my wizard duels. <laughs> did, did anybody else feel that weird breeze like pass over their shoulder, or just me? <laughs> the one that whispers, "Do it." Yeah. No, oh no, I'm never, I'm, I'm never pressured by God. I'm not Catholic. Uh, Welcome, put the razor away. <laughs> Felt like a cold chill to me. <laughs> that reminds me, I, I was listening to a uh, sketch earlier, like a bit of a sketch while Krista was getting her, her prescription from, from Walgreens or CVS or wherever the fuck what? we were. Um, pharmacy. Yeah. Uh, it was a sketch about a guy that was comparing religions to various fast food restaurants. Nice. Mm -hmm. oh, and no. uh, I'm not going to repeat them because they are offensive. Uh, so. <laughs> Very. <laughs> oh. But... You can tell uh, us after. <laughs> yeah. I, I really want to know what Taco Bell is. I yeah. don't remember. I, I know one of them. Was, but yes. <laughs> Josh saved them in his phone. He was 
writing them down as it was. <laughs> no, I didn't, but they, they were, like, the ones that were memorable were very memorable. And I, I gotta say, Taco Bell's was, was memorable, but Chipotle's was even more memorable. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> I got into the car, I'm fucking exhausted. And, and I'm laughing my ass guess off. guess what? And I'm like, oh my god. What? <laughs> and... Yeah. It was funny. It, it, yeah. I twice had a good time. I probably would have appreciated more if I didn't feel like shit. Yeah, that's fair. Any hoosers. What do? Briar's going to buy her stuff. Alright. Yeah. So you head over to the... Uh, the wand shop. It also had a pun name, but I... For the life of me, cannot remember what it was right now. <laughs> I remember it being a groaner. Half of his puns are... I mean, all, all of them are generous. generous. Half? Yeah. Uh, all of them. Half is generous. <laughs> No, some of his puns make me go, shut the fuck up. Or, I love you, so, like... But shut the fuck up. Anyways. Anyways. If you head inside... Uh... And... It's it's a little busier this time of day, and you enter in, and immediately the like the flaps to the back door just shoot open while well, the back room it's, it's a curtain, um, and very quickly the owner just like slides across the floor to you. <laughs> Hello! Welcome back. That's right. I smell that you're ready to purchase something expensive. Uh. <laughs> Can we ground God? <laughs> um... No, I'm sorry. I can take his banana bread away, but that's about it. Yeah. Not if I eat it before you get here. <laughs> First, the next time you see Josh, can you smack him for me? Thanks. <laughs> okay. Anyways, you guys are ready to buy something expensive? I mean, it's the holiday season, so yes. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> I think Tori is still reeling from what you just fucking said, Josh. Yeah, I'm fair. Mostly I've just been eating, sitting here, just going, oh. like, I'm not gonna. I was just like, I just. <laughs> this I son of a bitch. <laughs> you, 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 you were just letting the moment <sighs> die. Fair. Yep. A swift, cold death. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I don't remember what the shop owner's name is. Nobody no, does. Keep going. Bears. Hello, shopkeeper! Hello. I come to purchase goods. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um... I haven't gotten to use this yet, and I pull out... What? I don't even remember what the focus is. <laughs> I thought it was a statue. Oh well, no, because I pulled I pulled from a random bag. Mm -hmm. Did yeah, you I got the a... wand? Did I? Okay. Um. Right. Yeah. So I haven't gotten to use this yet, but I will. But I also want to buy that fancy one that was here last time because now I have the money. Excellent. I will happily sell it to you. Uh, the price on that wand was 7,000 gold. And I totally knew that and grabbed an appropriate amount of platinum from the piano. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> I like the idea of you not grabbing enough. Like, hold on, I need to go back to the piano. What? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, to the piano. Da, la, 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 la. <laughs> Wait, I'm I'm there too. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes, you're, you're by myself. Okay. <laughs> y y yes, you're her, you're her emotional support magic man. Oh my god. <laughs> who else here can cast magic and be emotionally supportive? Also Tell you who. As my friend. <laughs> no. I like mine better. <laughs> It makes the relationship sound much more transactional. <laughs> and I'm just Briar. Um, I definitely expect you to say that, to end that with a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so just true. a bitch. Flip ponytail over shoulders. <laughs> um, I Briar, hand Briar, over... this is why it's taking a long time for people to like you. <laughs> I hand over money. He hands over wand. And now I can double fist wands. <laughs> phrasing. Oh. No, completely phrasing. intentional. <laughs> I don't know if I ever described this wand to you. Nope, I don't think you did, because I think we heard how much it was and then went, ha ha, we'll be back. <laughs> Fair. So hit me with it, God. Yeah. Um, so this wand. It's... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's choking him. Oh, God. Okay, it's breaking. Can I, can I, can I give it back? It's a wand of suffocation. I think this one is covered in plague. I don't, I don't want it. Take it back. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny she's going to drop this much money on this wand. She's going to use it how often? Know. Almost never. Hey, you know, that's fine. Um, so this wand... Where you would... So the handle of the wand is is made from a type of wood that you don't really... You, you don't have a recollection of what it actually is. Uh, it, it appears foreign to you, almost like it came from another world. Ooh. Alien uh, wood. All right. There is a, uh, what I would only describe as a halo on the very, like, the pommel. It's, it's, it's a piece of silver surrounded by this halo. Um, it is light. You can pass your hand through it. But it wraps around the exterior of the, uh, of the pommel. And then there's another one at a slight diagonal up right above where your hand would rest. So I believe that would be the hilt. Technically speaking. Another halo around the hilt? Yep, but it's at an angle. So instead of it being parallel to the uh, to the one on the pommel, it would actually be uh, not perpendicular, but... Intersecting? Yeah, intersecting. It's, it's at a slight tilt. Um, and then the wand itself uh, is made from the same wood that the handle is made from, but it seems to have a uh, a constellation across it in the same light that the halos are made from. Ooh. Uh, and at the very tip, floating just past the wand itself, is a very small light orb. The light orb is where, sorry? Just in front of the tip. Oh. But it's not a magic item, you guys. Absolutely not. It's like a fucking wand of stars or some shit. Yes. I love it. It's where I use my experimental focus to identify. <laughs> I use one wand to identify oh, the other. Uh, yeah, yeah, and, and then... And then you disintegrate the really The new one, monster. yeah. <laughs> and then Briar cries. <laughs> just full just full tears in this wand shop. I mean, could happen. <laughs> could be fun. Now I'm happy that no. K2 happens to be there, apparently. 
<laughs> I wouldn't do it here. I'd do it back at the hotel. Oh, okay. I assume you're equipped for fire hazards. <laughs> Otherwise known as briar hazards. I'm fireproof. I'll be your fire guide. It's okay. And that is the name of the episode, Briar Hazards. That's more terrifying. Briar Hazards. It's going to be the name of this whole campaign, if we're being honest. <laughs> it's really good. Up, it's fine. <laughs> you know, my, my hotel has got a really long time about ever having to deal with fire. And then I introduce you to it, and already two possible interactions where you have caused fire. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Less than a couple and, of both prior <laughs> and Sarah. What can I say? <laughs> uh, if you didn't want fire, you should have gotten better friends. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing if not spontaneous combustion. <laughs> I just like hold it out to K2 and I'm like, this is the prettiest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It's Why didn't you tell me wands could look so cool? It's but definitely so much stylish. Stylish? How dare you? As I like hold the wand close to my chest like you're hurting its feelings. <laughs> I'm just kind of surprised, is all. About what? Well, I mean... It seems kind of religious, don't you think? They're stars. And halos. Okay. Like... Like angel halos? Messengers of the gods? If it makes it feel any better, or I mean, I guess it'll make me feel better. Anyways, I'll probably just look at them and be like, oh, look, circles. Problem solved. Oh, <laughs> That works too, I guess. <laughs> yeah, if you keep bringing it up, then, you know, <laughs> that it might have a problem, up, yeah. but... <laughs> All right, back to the hotel. All right. After like walking, I imagine walking back to the hotel. I sort of go like, "Wait, what do I even need this for?" <laughs> uh, one of you roll me one d twenty. Sure. I think it's just the two of you out and about. Eleven. Oh. Okay. You may continue. That's never fun. I don't like <laughs> that. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> it was just a roll for a random encounter. You didn't roll it. Yeah, I know, but yeah, it's, you're, it's never a fun thing. <laughs> Well, usually the D twenty roll is whether it happens or not. It's the it's the roll afterwards that you start to <laughs> like feel like, oh god, why is he making me roll three D ten and then one D six and then two D four? What's happening? And then next thing you know, you have five points of exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, and, and then okay, yeah, and then you know, okay, roll forty six. Okay, roll, roll it again. Okay, roll it again. Am I rolling a new character? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Now that I think about it, how long? Because Zorja and Anawasi were walking back, right? Right. Yeah. How long? How long of it? How long of a walk is it from Kidui to High Lorik? High days. city of Lorik. Why did I oh, skip so much words in the middle? We're here like two days in advance. Two days before they get here. Yep. All right. <laughs> Killing time. <laughs> Wizard <Wizardful. laughs> pool. God. <laughs> I mean, I can't imagine we have stuff to get together and get ready before we hop on the boat and leave anyways, so, you know. 
No, not, not, not of any particular dire urgency, as far as I'm aware. God, for some reason, you said dire, and all I could think of, not of any particular diarrhea. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't Any know answer. why. Because right. because his brain has been rotted away. God My is brain having a crisis. Yeah. From 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 too much. Too much Seth MacFarlane. I think I'm going stir crazy. Any hoosers? That sucks. Yeah. What would you uh? Two days to kill. You guys could all open up bank accounts to put your gold yeah. into. That was part of the that was one of the things yeah. we needed to do. No. And if I refuse, what do you have? You have something against banking, Salvix? I have yeah. more immediate. I have more immediate things to use the currency on. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that's fair. Also, this is a mainland bank. I don't ever anticipate coming back. <laughs> it's international. It, there's, it's not in Sarnath, is more the point. <laughs> not in Sarnath yet. I was going to say, this is definitely going to be something that'll... Is, that's the, <laughs> just like the main reason I need to end this turmoil in Sarnath. <laughs> so I can so make a bank account. <laughs> get another bank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's actually, yeah, that's actually been the whole driving motivation. Like, yeah, yeah, sure, Dragon Beard, all that. Yeah, sure, that's that's well and good. Savage just really wants better interest rates on his savings account. Point <laughs> <laughs> zero zero two percent instead of point zero zero one. I'll fucking take it. Also, he can no. open up a sister hotel in Sarnath. Set up teleportation circles Jesus between. Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's easy. You open up a bank, hit Sarnath. Step step one. Step two, name it Dragon's Horde. Step three, profit. <laughs> you know oh what? <laughs> You're not wrong. Step bank three, the Dragon's the, Horde. <laughs> step three, the Empire seizes all your assets with them in the domain. <laughs> yeah. Damn step it, now we really gotta overthrow him. Step four, Thousand Years Dungeon. Off to Galug. Galug? Yeah, because you can't do the Gulag. That was taken by the Russians. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, if I live forever, I'm going to be able to accrue so much interest on this money. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I will never be poor again. <laughs> Why do you think Todd was so rich? Yeah, yeah I, I mean, I mean, if you have an immortal lifespan, and you're not, like... Stupidly wealthy by the time you hit like two hundred. What the? Yeah, yeah. Just, just, just throw yourself into. The, yeah, just like, throw, throw yourself into the sun. Yeah. I just sort of like shrugs. She's like, I don't know. I've never really had to deal with money before. <laughs> Not like for most of my life. So it's just, it's just like Lord Sharp from the last campaign. He was just an immortal guy that <laughs> had a lot of money, and then he was using it to be Batman, kind of. Oh, hey, too. I actually need you to do something for me. What's Very up? simple. Do you mind sending a message <laughs> to Corbin, letting him know Todd's dead? He won't particularly. He's not going to be beaten up about this, but he should. He should probably know. Yeah. I... <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> just the only thing you hear from Corbin is just the sound of a champagne cork pop unpopping. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, oh, what? Sorry, I can't, I can't hear you over the. Everybody, get out the streamers! <laughs> no, 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 it, it, the it's, just, it's just the shadow of the champagne cork, and that's it. <laughs> Nothing else. All right. Yeah, so it's twenty-five words. It doesn't say you can't transmit sounds. <laughs> it's 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 just the closed captioning. <laughs> yeah. Cork popping. <laughs> but, but you hear it. All right, I uh, I will send a message to Corbin. I'll say, "Hey, Corbin, what it's up?" Message from Briar. Uh, Tom Von Strad is dead. 
Peace. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the response that you get back is uh, very short to the point. It says, "All right, be there soon." <laughs> I'm, I'm just stretching. Ha! 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 Oh. Either he's going to Kitty Vidi soon, or he's coming here soon. <laughs> he said, be there soon. I'm unsure which location he was referring to. Us, or where Todd died. I have no idea, to be honest. I thought he wouldn't even... Huh. Can he even go out in the sunlight? Or... Do any vampires actually have a weakness to sunlight? <laughs> None that I know. Weird. You come from a very strange place. Yeah, I guess where I come from, it's more of a curse. Where you're just kind of, your curse is the hunger. Well, I guess I'm glad I'm stuck with this version. <laughs> stuck. <laughs> Could have been worse. Hmm. So who else wants to open a bank account? <laughs> hey. uh, oh. yeah, I think they're kind of out of vested interest. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to carry around all this gold. <laughs> yeah, no. Definitely not. Uh, e even in platinum, the amount that we have equates to like 200, 200 pounds for each of us. Yep. Yep. It's much easier to just get a, just get a fancy dancy checkbook. Yeah, which like you I understand. Learn how to balance it. I understand that's not that big of a deal for the uh, the dragonborn, but still. For the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, man. Stage and revolution ain't cheap. bad that after beating the shit out of Todd I just want to fight more people no you want to fight more more rich people to steal all their no. money no no just fight oh. in general I think I've just been we've been it's been, we've been it, it, a we've combat been drought for too long it's, yeah, it's, yeah. You know, I'm just I've got the itch it's it's the killer's version of like a runner's hide yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like a yeah. murder high yeah it's like, oh my god, killing people is great. We should do this more often. I I know Briar is definitely smart enough to not think this, but it is really funny for Briar to have the context of Savix stabbed the man and then he exploded in money. So Briar, like, if Savix kills things, they they make a lot of money. Hold on. Intelligence, and I'm just like, wait a minute. <laughs> over Intelligence over blinded things so hard, you yeah. can loop back around to dumb. Yeah. Holy shit, it's just like Scott Pilgrim vs. the world. <laughs> I beat up this man and his body disappeared and just left it's not, it's 320 not even, it's not like to change. Wanna, it's not even like I want to kill things. I just want to hit things. I just want to fight. I should I should, I should, should ask Salix to just fight me when we get back to the hotel. <laughs> Wait, K2, there's Wizard Fight Club. Is Baroness there just, like, definitely regular Fight Club? That. Yeah, there's regular Fight Club, too. Nice. I just, I I never went there because I'm not yeah. into that type of thing. <laughs> yeah, I think regular fight, fight Club, it's, like, just, like, frat bros who are just big versus Briar, a hardened combat. Well, it's usually, like, a bunch of, like, uh, monastic people, kind of like Darkalion. Oh, that makes sense. like, the spirit of the fight, that, like, that type of thing. 
OMG. Kick my ass and I'll only get up twice as strong. No! No you won't! <laughs> I met one of them once and he kept talking about honor and it was really, really boring. Sad. <laughs> All I could think of was tail. <laughs> <laughs> Long lost cousin. Yeah. It's why, yeah, there's Thale, and then there's his long last cousin, Pale. Is he a vampire? <laughs> <laughs> no, but he never really gets out. I hate it here. He's a snow elf. Same. No. Hey, I I, I appreciated that one. No, that, that was a good one, Joe. <laughs> All right, so we go to the bank, and then we go to Fight Club. <laughs> And then, depending on how I'm feeling afterwards, maybe also Wizard Fight Club. <laughs> or will... we can do regular Fight Club today, Wizard Fight Club tomorrow, or spread it out. As I already have bank accounts, I will just... Accompany. <laughs> I will just accompany and deposit my money across my various accounts. A little bit in savings, a little bit in checking, a little bit in, in retirement for some fucking reason. <laughs> And also, if we're going to be doing a fight club, uh, do we want to rest first? Probably. Fine. <laughs> what? No. I'm totally fine. I'm just down I one mean, spell slot. I, I was unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> and buried in money. So. Yeah, but now yeah, you're, it, you're full health now. You got healed. Yeah, I know. but still. Look, look I, I mean, yeah, you just need a short rest and then you get all your key points back and you're good. <laughs> Probably get that in the bank while we're waiting. <laughs> yeah, what going through bureaucracy? Yep. <sighs> you have to know I'm talking a mile a minute, and while you understand what they're saying, it's just too much for Darkalian right now. Just like what? <laughs> I just like wait for K two to translate it to me in words that I'll comprehend more. <laughs> Basically, the Five longer years. you wait, <laughs> yeah, basically, the longer you wait, the more the money gets bigger. <laughs> <laughs> the, the longer the wait, the more the money. I'm like, really? <laughs> the less you spend, the more you earn. Roll my eyes and sign the paperwork. <laughs> mm -hmm. Woohoo! Bank owners! They're not bank owners, bank account owners! <laughs> I, I mean, with that much money, you might be able to buy out small ones. <laughs> it's still a hundred thousand, almost a hundred and ten thousand. This is the part where I, I reveal that I'm on the board of directors for the bank. <laughs> yeah, right. That's it. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. No, I can't be the I can't be the owner of everything. That'd just be ridiculous. Unless <laughs> I was like, has that stopped you before, Mike? Listen, NPCs have to have lives too. I can, I can't just be everything. <laughs> yeah, okay. I already do that enough when I DM. I can't just be everything. Looks at your character sheet with the four freaking jobs. Yeah, and none of those jobs are martial inclined. You guys yeah, got that true. part covered. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah. K two doesn't do d doesn't hit things with big sticks. He just drops it. He just drops no, a fucking bomb I, on him. I animate sticks to hit you with themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I kill you with my I kill you with my pocket change. <laughs> okay, we literally walk around looking like just his secure. Like we look like his bodyguards. Basically, yep. Which, to be fair, is an even trade because he talks us out of a lot of situations. Yeah. So you know what it works. Yeah. Yeah. He's the one that's good at wordum. No mechanic, but I think I'm a little bit better. 
All right, let's go get the dragons and go to Fight Club. <laughs> I didn't realize you were talking about the other two. <laughs> nope. like, the dragons. dragons. What? Oh, what? Dragonborn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Neat. So you, those of you that want to open bank accounts, can do so. I refuse to role play the opening of bank accounts. Please yeah. no. oh, come on. <laughs> Uh, that was uh, that was us role playing it going money get bigger i sign we're done yeah yeah um <laughs> you can store however much you want in there it does not matter uh it they give you checks that you can use across the country and internationally uh anywhere that accepts them and not all places do accept them that's written in the fine print yada 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 <laughs> um and then you go to Fight Club, and because I don't feel like Fight Club is important enough to roleplay through, That's um, fair. or have actual fights for, uh, there are five tiers of people you can face, starting at beginner, going all the way up to champion, and then the fifth tier is the grand champion, um, who is only label that they have on this individual uh, is the nut job. <laughs> Do we have to oh, fight God. through all five to get to the nut you job? You have to fight through all five to get to the nut job. All right. Are these well, are these one on one fights? They are one on one fights. Are they? All right, good luck, Briar. <laughs> <laughs> are, 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 are they unarmed fights? No weapons are allowed. Oh, okay. Oh, oh buddy. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah. are, there, are there specifications to what they mean by weapon? <laughs> uh, weapons. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, this is I'm... a. <laughs> you're not fighting to the death. You're fighting till unconscious. So as long as you are unconscious, not unconscious. Lethal, unconscious. Yeah. Cool. Um, they don't really care. Although they do have medics on standby, and then there is a very hefty fine if you do accidentally kill somebody, and a very hefty fine if you, in the process, mangle their body so that a simple resurrection spell does not work. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I like the idea of like you know like in like the quote unquote like locker room like people are getting ready like they have like simple weapons and then Briar walks in no weapons just yep. smiling and they're all just, just like deep. oh fuck <laughs> this just walks crazy. in with no just walks in yeah with just just no weapons she's just like can you guys hold these for me <laughs> I just like give my halberd and my glaive to Salvix like hold oh, this <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 in her t-shirt so that's yeah, really funny because Theranix instantly right. like grabs it back and is just like, oh my god, this is so pretty, and starts like, ew, pretty with your fucking weapons. <laughs> Go ahead, the cleave is real nice. <laughs> oh yeah, because it's still got the ice haft. Mm-hmm. Alright, so Theranix is geeking out over your stuff. <laughs> Wait, uh, 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 I'm uh, gonna uh, start uh, sharpening uh, my teeth like Ah! <laughs> uh, god! <laughs> oh, fuck. No. Don't think about it, Ryan. Don't think about it. It's okay. Don't think oh. about it. Don't think about it. And it's okay. Oh my god, I should totally get like dope ass, like I should get grills for my fangs. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I mean that was a plan that we were gonna do when it's over before, but then you know That is true. Oh my god, but then I didn't need to, but I should just get them for style purposes at this point. At this point. Mm. Anyway. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So the way that this will work um, is you'll roll 2d20 contested by their d20 roll. If uh -huh. you roll higher, you beat them. If they roll higher, then they beat you. I don't know why these, these, these are watch me whiff. Yeah. Up, up until if you make it to the final round, then that one will work differently as that is the, uh, the nut job, the grand champion. Mm -hmm. so, which, which might actually have enough dramatic stakes to matter. Yeah. Okay. Um, so in this case, uh, go ahead and roll your 2d20. Is it basically she's rolling an advantage, or...? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, basically an advantage, because the, 
the first. I was gonna say two people. Ones, be, I feel like I feel yeah. like I could like literally kick them over with one foot. Yeah, <laughs> and there's no like bonus at all, like proficiency or anything. No, not in this case because it's oh, just yeah. a contention of d20s. So seventeen, and yeah. So you wipe the floor with the entry level contestant. Like I don't um, even need to use my teeth on the entry level contestant. <laughs> You just punch him to death, basically. Just him. Yeah. <laughs> Bri Briar tears her teeth, which like which, flicker with like whatever element her right is, and then just pass out. And let's point out that these fights don't need to be to the death. To the death is allowed. Briar just it. is killing them. No, I'm not. I don't want to kill people. I don't need to kill them. I'm just not. Briar doesn't want to pay the fee. Yeah, yeah, the murder fee. Yeah. It's like, K2 told me to be responsible with my money, and paying a murder fee doesn't seem responsible with my money. <laughs> Unless they try to kill me first, in which case, yeah, that is justified. If they try and kill me first, then, yeah, fuck them. But... <laughs> yeah, the first guy uh, had uh, a, a bow staff was his weapon of choice. Oh, no. nice. Yeah. Um, and now like he has guy. two small sticks. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what, yeah. Wax right in the head and just no, no reaction. Just grab, snap, crunch. Yep. Basically. Um, so second fight, the uh, fighter walks out with a spear. Uh, go ahead and roll your 2d20. 17 again. Yes. Yep, once again, just wipe the floor. This one is living up to the standard, a slightly harder fight. Um, they make it two rounds of combat instead of one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they stab Briar with the spear and she just keeps walking towards them. Just, oh, yeah. oh shit! <laughs> yeah, basically. Run to the door, they're like, let me out! Let me out! <laughs> Yeah. Nope, nope, I'm out. I don't want to. Nope. I stabbed this bitch with a spear and she keeps walking into it. Nope, I'm done. Yep. Uh, go ahead K and roll for the third fight. K2 walks up to where everybody else is with a large pretzel and a beer. And she's like, so how's she doing? <laughs> how do you think? <laughs> they have pretzels? This is really <laughs> bad. Yeah. You're bad. in your reading. You can't see it. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> I just like to imagine some people. What call me of pretzels? The uh, uh, third fighter walks out with a maul. Oh, oh no! <laughs> and you hey. absolutely destroy the guy with the maul. Um, at one point, you kick him to the ground, and the maul falls onto his head. Uh, uh, it not oh, no. unconscious. It doesn't okay. punch his skull. Uh, as it's not quite high enough of a fall, but. <laughs> yeah, that, that's how he goes unconscious. Yeah. That mm. <laughs> <Absolutely. laughs> counts. Yep. Uh, the champion, not the grand champion, so the fourth fighter walks out uh, wearing heavy armor and using a flail. Uh, yeah. you may go ahead and roll your 2d20. You got this, Briar, Bark Inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, because she's further away. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it's also not. I can't it's, not a, a, <laughs> <laughs> it's also not an ability check saving throw or attack roll. Oh message. man, <laughs> message. I feel even though it doesn't do anything actually to the roll, Briar feels better. <laughs> yeah. 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 Nice. <laughs> Oh yeah! <laughs> Holy shit, John! Yeah, champion does yeah, yeah. not stand a chance. Uh, as you uh, just completely annihilate her. Um, oh, poor girl. It, yeah, her her weapon breaks on the first attack just due to malfunction, and the rest of it Jesus. is history. Malfunctioning flail that you yeah. don't get no, that one no. done. <laughs> Obvious what? Yeah, just like swings, the chain breaks, bounces off the wall, hit, ball hits her in the face, and just knocks herself out. Yep. That would be a um. So for the grand championship round against the nut job. Yep, against the nut job. Um, he comes out naked. What we're what we're gonna do is both of us are gonna roll with emphasis. So that is gonna be. Uh, 2d20, and then uh -huh. 
the number that is furthest from 10 of those 2d20s is, is the result. Okay. Wait, so. my brain can't. Sure. So, you, 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 rolling with emphasis, you, you roll basically 2d20, so add advantage or disadvantage. If you roll an 11 and a 4, and a four the lower result is the one that's taken. Oh. Because it's the furthest yeah, yeah, from yeah, 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 yeah. I see, yeah. The I furthest see. from 10, I should say. The sorry. furthest from 10. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, it's okay, real, yeah, it's yeah. real awkward if you get the results the same distance away. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, don't, I don't know which one you take at that point. Uh, it's a re-roll at that point. Oh. Yep. Weird. It really sucks if you can't, if, if you roll a 1 and a 20. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you roll a 1 and a 20, the, the 20 is further from 10. Oh yeah, that's true. Technically, yeah, yeah that's true. What is so? What does the nut job even look like? What's this guy uh, going the on? The nut job is a fairy. <laughs> oh boy! Shut Holy like, shit! Hold, hold like player race fairy or like monster fairy? Fairy, fairy but player race fairy. Okay, so small, not tiny. Yes. Yeah. Um, he fights with his fists. Nice. Nice. Like Tomb of Annihilation character? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you had a fairy that had, was a monk. Yeah, I, oh no, he was a barbarian. Yeah, this is a monk. Barbarian fairy. Like, all, right. all right, all that practice with Darkalia, now it's gotta go, it's gotta pay off now. <laughs> <sighs> go ahead and roll your 2d20. <laughs> Believe in the heart of the cards. Oh. Ooh, Ooh, that's a, that, that is a that tie. Is, that is a tie. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Ryan, <laughs> why did you have to tie? I said a 20, 20 and a 1. <laughs> Technically, there's a 20 there as well. God fucking damn it, man. <laughs> I mean, that Come just on. means it's a reroll. <laughs> yeah, I know, but still, that's just, it's so much worse. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. no. my God. Yeah, that just makes your result a 12, so. Hilarious. Oh, Ooh. no, 17. It's further from 10. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So th this sorry, fairy. This is a best of one in the ch in the grand championship. Yes. <laughs> Brutal. Yeah. All of these fights are best of one. Yeah. As you you put up a really good fight, uh, as you also rolled above 10 with the, with the result. Um, but ultimately, the uh, one of the stunning strikes gets you. Yeah, that would do. Yeah, you know, <laughs> that is that is Briar's main weakness: being stunned. Shut up! It's actually <laughs> wisdom, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, still. Oh no, no, no! You actually do have a fairly decent con save considering you had your intelligence to it. Yep. So the uh, the nut job reigns supreme still as the grandmaster. Fighter. I'm gonna kill this fucking fairy. No, I'm joking. Twice. <laughs> that would have been hilarious if was during the very first fight, the entrance round, and she rolled bad. That would, that would it was. Been... It was possible. Yeah. Oh, I know. I'm just saying it. Uh, that, that would have been. I thought amazing. on that eight and four, I for sure was gonna. It was not gonna happen, but then Josh rolled a three. <laughs> I, I, you know? Yeah, I, I mean, I almost feel like those first like couple of fights should have been like they have disadvantage. Yeah, oh, yeah, they could have. That's fine. We made it all the way here. God damn it! Fucking nineteen and one. Are you trolling me right now? <laughs> right. <sighs> it, it, it could it could have just been like a two. <laughs> right. <sighs> well, if it was a two, then with your luck, it would have been an eighteen. Shut the fuck up, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I meant with the 19. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Part just glares the stupid fairy. Stupid fairy glares back. One of his eyes slowly drifting away. <laughs> <laughs> the 
the murder clause is only for in the arena, right? Yes. Jesus Christ. Yeah, technically, but you'd likely get arrested doing it outside of the arena. If I get caught. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't know what fairy tastes like. I mean, you probably would've got a sample. I feel like it's, it's magically little... delicious. I feel like oh it's just God. really sugary. You'll probably get vampire diabetes. <laughs> vampire diabetes. Viabetes. Viabetes. I just like look at Dark and I'm like, somehow this is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> you should have you should have made me better at resisting getting stunned. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> We've sparred plenty. <laughs> How come I'm not better at this? Or <laughs> We've known each other for. You're 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 not gonna throw your failure on me. I'm sorry. I'm just lashing out because I lost. I know it's not your fault. <laughs> I know. Hey, don't worry, champ. You'll get him next time. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Ooh, let's pretzel. try again tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, was there even, like, a buy-in for this? Or it's just like, hey, you want to come fight? Yeah, all right. Yeah, there's no buy-in. <laughs> oh, my God, that's hilarious. <laughs> just status. You can't even get anything if you win. What the fuck? Get a title. Wait, what the, um... I, I would have had to have defended said title? No, you just you would just automatically it. surrender it if you were to oh, run okay. and defend it. Gotcha. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> you knock out the nut job and the first thing gets back up. A fuck fight you get, bitch. This is when when this campaign is is over, this is gonna be one of Briar's like things she does for like 50 years, she'll just come and be like the reigning champion of this stupid little fight club. In in, in, in memory of her beloved Gorge. It just... <laughs> Sounds really sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all the things we've done, this is how, this is where you settle, okay. Yeah. Well, I'll settle for a while, I've got a lot of life to live, and then I'll be uh, here again, as long as you're You're not planning it, on leaving, are you, K2? I don't know. Unacceptable. I, I live one day at a time, to be honest. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> You're somehow planning both, like, 50 years in the future and simultaneously five minutes in the past at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I see, like, it's not that I'm planning out my future, it's just that I like to be ready for every situation. Hmm. He's it's not. Just, it's he's just, not planning his future. He, he's prepping for his past. Oh my god, my head hurts. Let's stop this conversation. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm done taking psychic damage from that. <laughs> <laughs> I just grab my stuff from Sarah Nix, since she just took it from her brother. I mean, yeah, that that's usually what happens. I'm mm. <laughs> just mumbling under her breath about stupid fairies and their stupid little hands. <laughs> <laughs> and that's actually what the stunning strike was. He just poked you in the eyes. <laughs> the two finger poke just. <laughs> yeah, but he got tiny hands, so he had to do one, one finger on each hand. <laughs> Trying to figure out what this question mark is for the high city of Lorik on this map. Do we know what it is yet? No, nope. that's why I'm saying I'm trying to figure out what it could be, and I have no idea. What are the red ones again? I'm not sorry, not the red ones. The uh, whatever. The exclamation points. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Questions. What are all of them? Like the, 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 the question marks are things we haven't found. Exclamation okay. points are things we have found. Oh. And then, and then the red ones are locations of interest. Or, or we like oh, yeah, we, we at least know what they are. Like the the, mm -hmm. the circled exclamation points are the other idols. 
Yeah. Oh, and then, that's right. Yeah, and then the the one at the. Yeah, this one is the tomb. Yeah, that's exactly what I was trying to say. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm curious what the one here is. Oh, oh, oh in in Lorik, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, the the blue circled ones. Yeah, are the idols. The question marks are quests that you guys have not yet discovered. Uh, or continue with, or yeah, that's it. Uh, and then the exclamation marks are quests you are currently on that continue in that location. What's or at least quests the... you know of you can take. What's the one in the middle of the lake? Uh, that's where Nick Mm-hmm. Oh, and there's more things to do with him? Mm-hmm. Or... Apparently. Oh. Yes. Look, 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 man. Maybe, maybe Nick Decorex, much like Red Eyes, just wants to fuck. Dude, I was thinking the exact same thing. It's like, whoa, I gotta go fucking find a mate for him now, too? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta play Monster Matchmaker. God damn it. The Monster Mash. Ugh. You got that out of Tori, of and all of us. The graveyard smash is over here. <laughs> hey, hey you, you don't you don't have to worry about that. Ed, Edward's taking care of that. That's true. Edward's got us covered for the, that one. Like... Uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. I don't believe there was that one there. Um. The guy we never found is still there. <laughs> Maybe. Oh. Yeah. I'm just curious. We're what doing time really good, you guys. Point. What'd you say, Krista? We're doing. Really oh, there's good nothing in Nigel's point. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. And there's also nothing in Cardinals anymore. Yay. There's also <laughs> nothing in High Golf anymore. <laughs> there was one. There was one thing there. <laughs> yeah. Um. And there we go. Just like aimlessly wander around Lorik. <laughs> so yeah. Happens. Right. Yeah. 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 How, how many random encounter rolls can we proc if we just start yeah. going down random alleyways? Exactly. Just start going down really dark alleyways. <laughs> yeah. One, one, one of us just gets fucking shanked. I mean, we could focus on those idols for a bit. Yeah. Do I just yeah, be here in the city specifically? Hold on, let me look at the guide real quick. <laughs> go to the, go to the, the guards, be like, hey, anything anything funky going pull on the... here? <laughs> my, <laughs> my, go ahead and pull up the wiki. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, K2, can you pull up the... <laughs> pull up the encyclopedias. No, I, I I do have a wiki, but I, I can only get it six seconds at a time. <laughs> as my future self tells me where we need to go. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> That'd be such a funny way to use that spell. It's like, God, be. we're so bored. Hey, future me, what should we do right now? <laughs> That's actually the best way to use that spell. You don't use it to prevent danger, you use it to actively seek out danger. <laughs> just to his future self just pokes through the whole reality and just stares at him in you know. silent rancor for six seconds. <laughs> Just like, and he just ends it with no. It just points at him aggressively. He just leaves. Like, <laughs> don't be stupid, stupid. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then a few days later, K two finally understands. I will actually go check out if there. There's got to be like some kind of like guard situation here. I imagine the city isn't just not protected. The city is on top of a hill. There's only one so? way to get into it. Yeah, and that's but... up the main path. Are you implying that there's no crime within the city? No, not at all. Okay. There's, there's an underground fighting arena. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> there's <laughs> multiple. So there's got to be some kind of guard presence here. There, Maybe yes, they have a problem. There is a large somewhere. guard problem here. Oh, yeah, God, guard problem. A guard <laughs> problem. <laughs> God. Is it a guard presence? Fucking guards are everywhere. They just keep spreading. <laughs> So who's like, who's spawned to get more guards? There's actually like a bounty out on the guards from like <laughs> from the criminal.
criminals like you define the, the cloning about... mechanism for the guards and <laughs> disable somebody, it please do something about all these guards my city. i can't commit crime <laughs> stop you violated the law get the <laughs> fuck out of here <laughs> This is my bathroom! You're exposing yourself to me! In my bathroom! There's only eight- there's only eight guards in this village. Why have I killed 90 of them? What the fuck? Alright, somebody turn off the redstone to the command block, please. What fucking necromantic sorcery is this? Anyways, on a semi-serious note, I will go check out the guard problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, just go, I just want to go to wherever. There's probably got to be some like main area, main building that they. Uh... Yes, the the guards do have a, a barrack. <laughs> yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Thanks. The other B word. Bench. A <laughs> bench. It's actually a brothel. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I mean, cards do have a problem. Now we know why there are so many of them. <laughs> you sign up to be a guard, free entry to the brothel. No, the, bro <laughs> the brothel workers are the ones who actually keep the peace. I mean, yeah. <laughs> brothel workers are the town guard. I, 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 no. I don't know why I thought you were going to say sign up to be a guard, get a free brothel. <laughs> The red light district in Lorik is fucking booming. It's an entire section that's just an entire, it's, it's literally like a red light district, but it's just, it's just only brothels. <laughs> At that point, it's just the whole city. Yeah, yeah they've, they've got a sign in a section of the town that says guard house, but the house is partially crossed out. It just says guard hose. Nice. <laughs> nice. Amazing. <laughs> Anyways, I'm I go so to the powerful. actual legit barracks that is not a brothel. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> yeah. You go to the guardhouse. We love the barracks. House. I don't know if anyone's uh, coming with me, but that's what I'm doing. Okay, uh, what, what is everybody else doing? Is this still I... the same day as the vampire yeah. fight? Yes. <laughs> okay, sure, why not? We'll, 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 we'll do this the following day, because the fights would have taken a while. Oh, so thank you, god. Yeah. I, I cannot be at like a quarter of my strength. <laughs> you guys run into a mugger and K2 dies. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, of all of us, the person with the most potential ability to escape yeah. is the one that gets murked. I've been hindered by my lack of spell Quick. I can't even move! It's like, oh god, I'm being attacked! Where's some water? I need some water! <laughs> <laughs> so unhinged. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the worst person to be stuck in the middle of a desert. The guy that transports around the world by water. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Alright. Alright, it's a new dawn. It's a new day. Yes, it is. So you guys go to the barracks. Um, you're greeted by a happy-go-lucky rookie. Yes. As he, uh, he stops you and goes, Hello, friends! You, uh, can't come inside, but what can we help you with? Sarah's just, like, audibly groans at the cheer in his voice. Oh. <laughs> oh, he has so much hope. What is this, Ben? Is he a human? Yes. Okay. If you were about to say halfling, I was going to laugh. Sorry. His, name, his name is Jarence. Oh my god. Excuse you? From the fucking pits there, I could hear you digging for it. I could literally <laughs> hear the shovel hitting the gravel. I just dug your way to that fucking name. Excuse <laughs> you? Jarence. That name has too many syllables, apologize. <laughs> It's just Terrence with a J. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> just tried to switch it up because I, I figured Terramaya wasn't as fun. <laughs> Stupid. So dumb. <laughs> Anyways, Jarrett's his actually his full name is Jarrett's Terramaya. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, <laughs> Jarrett's Terramaya. Uh <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, I've been so thrown off in this whole situation. <laughs> <laughs> this 
is not what I expected. Also, how old are you? You look like 12. I'm 18. Oh! That's enough. <laughs> I'm actually oh, wow. five. How one week from retirement. Retirement being one death. <laughs> He's a clone. He's a clone. No, that's permanent termination. Sardex once again groans. I'm just like, oh my god, he's so young. <clears throat> I uh, I had my 18th birthday two weeks ago. Oh. Did you also oh. become a guard two weeks ago? <laughs> he's he's gonna die. Uh, well, after the, the the paperwork period took about a week, so <laughs> it's, it's been about a week. After we get the necessary exposition, something's gonna come out of nowhere and just ice this dude in front of us. Oh my god! I mean, <laughs> apparently Corbin is on his way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just Corbin's popping crash ledge, splattering the dude on the fucking cobblestone. <laughs> Via coffin. <laughs> I don't know. It seems, it seems super dramatic. <laughs> to the coffin bolt. It's, it's just like she <laughs> onto Briar, so it just lands directly in front of her, which just happens to be right on top of Jaren's Jeremiah. <laughs> Briar knows this specifically positions herself in a way whenever she's talking to people. She's like, ah, you're right there. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Why do you keep standing so you're facing slightly <laughs> off away from me? <laughs> oh, no reason. It's just how I like to stand. You got wrong with that? No, anyways. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. You've been a guard for a whole week. Congratulations. One whole week. As of today. Amazing. Splat. <laughs> gets, hit, gets hit by a magical bus out of nowhere. Sorry. Uh, Meredith just kind of like grabs his face very gently. He's just you have so much life in you. It's magic school. Oh, I just like grab Sardex's hands. I'm going like, even, I know this, even I know this is weird. <laughs> well, why can't we go inside? Oh, only guards are allowed in there. <laughs> because we can't go on the magic school bus, apparently. <laughs> uh... I think the fuck just said. I didn't catch it. <laughs> I, did, I did say the magic school bus. <laughs> um, sure, we don't need to go inside. Great. Is there something I can help you with out here? Yeah, is there someone, like, older we can talk to? Is there an adult here, adult? Uh, yeah, most of the guards that are around are, are older than I am. Okay. I, you, you could probably find one of them. I don't know... <laughs> I How well they'd be able to help you though, because they're not. Uh, unless you don't need to be here and you just need to be out and about seeking information. We do okay, have several okay, bulletin okay, boards okay, around okay, the city okay, if you want to go find Jared, them. Jared, I put my hand on his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I his face a little harder than necessary. Uh -oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Question for the group: Would this be an appropriate time for a stunning strike? Just no. I just like, please do not. I like shake Jared's by his head, effectively. I, 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 I'm and pretty I'm like, sure that basically no. just your dexterity modifier might be enough to just knock this guy out cold. He's got a There's little like, bit more health than that. He's a town guard. Like, Jared, okay, all, we just want to know. If there's like anything, I don't know, going on in town that maybe the guards need help with or are looking for people to deal with. Oh, well, we do need more guards. That's not that. Sure. Why this do you need more guards? Because there's a crime problem. <laughs> <What's your laughs> you know, leans close. Problem? He's like. I'm not allowed to tell you because you're not a guard. But there's a lot of pickpockets in town. You didn't hear it from me? Oh my god. Oh, okay. Oh, it's something seems like... about a small child bullying adults. <laughs> she have a walrus? How'd she know it was a she? <laughs> I'm not allowed to tell you because you're not a guard. But yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is that is that it? There's pickpockets and a small child bullying adults. That's all that I'm allowed to tell you. 
And I wasn't even allowed to tell you that. So what aren't you allowed you to tell me? me? Everything. Guard business. If you'd like, though, we do have postings of various things that uh, could need assistance, like old ladies that lose cats in trees, uh, or up very large, large buildings, um, or some that have become possessed and are hanging from the roofs of their houses. Uh, upside down, to be more specific. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah! I mean upside down? Yeah, from the roofs of their houses, specifically inside. So the the ceiling. That's what that's called. <laughs> oh my god. Would you like us to would you like to point me in the direction right. of this ear board? There's a lot of them. So if you go right around the corner, uh, you'll find the board for this station. They also have one near the gate, uh, and one near the courthouse. Uh, and the one with the courthouse is mug shots. Uh, for people that well, they're more like art to sketch sketches uh, of people that have committed crimes. Dominic um, just turns the corner. I'm done with this. Is that is that everything, Jared? Yeah, that's everything I know of. They don't tell me a whole lot, probably because I keep telling people. You don't say. Uh-huh. I just sort of like. <laughs> oh my god, it's face. Tom Holland. It's <laughs> <laughs> basically what I'm getting from this. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Thank you, Jared. <laughs> Just walk by walk off falling Salvix. Yeah. You're welcome. You didn't hear it from me. And then the door opens and somebody else walks out and uh, you didn't hear what? And nothing? You've been telling people again, haven't you, Charis? <laughs> just a reproachful stare. <laughs> the door is closed, you just hear screaming. <laughs> Bass burst of Roblox oof sound. Oof. We go, look at this board. Yeah, you go look at the board. Um, at the moment, there's nothing pressing on it. Um, you know, like like he said, it's just basically like people from the town would come here and post stuff up um, that they need help with, hoping that the guards would see it, or somebody would come along and <laughs> decide that they can do their due diligence and take care of it. Um, is one on here? The possessed cat is hanging from my ceiling. Uh, no, <laughs> he is he is using that as an example. God damn it. Then I guess we go to the next closest board. <laughs> yeah, the gate of the courthouse. Mm. Would the uh, boards have different information on them? No, they would have the same information. Yeah. Well, you said that the one at the courthouse was mugshots. Are those? Mug yeah, shots it would have game? it in, in addition. For gotcha. people that are like wanted, you could go to the courthouse to find them. <laughs> That's the one exception. Uh, then to the courthouse board. Then to the courthouse board, yeah. <laughs> we're just gonna be what, going after Lorik's most wanted? Is that what we're doing? It's just meadow. <laughs> Look, it might provide me some slight excitement if we just happen to come across them <laughs> with whatever we're doing while we're here. I... <laughs> Look, I like to chase things and hunt them down, so this really is up my alley, okay? Oh, this is your demon dog coming through, ain't it? Yeah. Ball? <laughs> Small scratch behind the ear. It's like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> also, Boy. it's a hyena, okay? Not a dog. Alright. Yeah. Um, somebody potato. can go ahead and just roll 1d100. I got it. Go. Let's go. Okay, go ahead, Krista. 66. Nice. 66, okay. Um, there are two people currently on the board. Um, of Lorik's Most Wanted. (laughs) Uh, The first one... I'm just gonna come up with their names. Let's see... Lorik's Smorgasbord. His crime is being Scandinavian. (laughs) 
Um, there is a, uh, a local renowned pickpocket on the board that is wanted. Um, his name is Strack Crag Surge. Oh. Interesting. Uh, it is a kobold. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then? And then. <coughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> then, dies. And yeah. then Joe Camel. <laughs> Joe Camel. A crime of promoting the smoking. The sentence is death. Of course, of course. Where the fuck is it? I don't know. Where the fuck is it? Hamter. <laughs> That's gonna be fun to say. Um, oh no. Then there is a dragonborn. Okay. On the board. With the quote uh, of wanted for questioning okay and their name is Lethanthiamesh you want to write these ones down for me buddy what in the fucking Welsh <laughs> <laughs> oh it didn't I would like to copy no and paste there mm. Lafan Diamesh. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, the other one was really easy. It was just Strack. Yeah. Strack. Are you making my people to be out like criminals, Judge? Got a problem? Want a criminal. Wanted for questioning. The other one is. Yeah. Why are the scale folk getting scrutinized in the eyes of the law, Josh? I don't know. And only the Why scale are folk. They? I don't the know. The ones that uh, haven't been caught yet. Uh huh. Sure. Mm hmm. <laughs> sure, that's why. Mm hmm. Yeah. Alright then. So oh, we... I thought of another one. Hang on. Oh, okay. <laughs> this one's gonna be fun. Yay. This one is going to be a half orc. Omri? <laughs> I, I, I was about to say. Giggling, I fucking do it. <laughs> well, would it no, surprise you? Oh. Not it's not exactly like Omri was, you know, a character who was on the straight and narrow path with the law. <laughs> uh, so, so the last one, his name is Krog, uh, Krog, uh, and he is wanted for the petty crime of uh, pissing off of rooftops onto people below. Oh, um, <laughs> hog chopping. Nice. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Non-consensual golden showers. Uh... Uh... Why? Stop it. Uh... Stop it. You're not invited to Thanksgiving anymore. Damn it. <laughs> you know what you did. I <laughs> said, yeah.
All right, so are we taking any of these or are we going to go do something? I'm intrigued by Leprechaun wanted for questioning. <laughs> Leprechaun wanted for questioning? She, she just want to say the long name. The, le the first part of it reminds me of how you start spelling Leprechaun. Yeah. And that's what I'm going with. Sure. So you guys want to go find this guy who may or may not be a criminal? They just want him for questioning. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm now all of a sudden hyper aware of rooftops. <laughs> yeah. Wonder why. Making a point to stand in the middle of the fucking street at all times. <laughs> yeah, just like constantly got one eye on the sky. You'll never piss on me. <laughs> Someone fucking pisses on me. I'm setting the fucking town ablaze. Like, no thank you. That's a pretty fair and reasonable reaction. Yep. Yep. Mm hmm All right, well... Does the... Like, the bounty or mugshot, or whatever, whatever we're calling this, uh, does it have, like no locations or are we literally just oh yeah it would them? uh it would tell you that he likes to hang around in uh taverns and also uh in the uh the spot i forgot what it's called the the hangout for uh young magicians outside of school and not <laughs> in the fighting arena that okay. they definitely don't know about. So, um, <laughs> there is a local shop where the youth like to chillax. Oh my god, the sentence is Jesus drop. <laughs> <laughs> right. I said what I said. <laughs> well, I guess we should go to this cool hangout spot where the street you meet <laughs> where the where, where the street folk is yes where the cool <clears throat> kids are yeah is there anything <coughs> on the um uh the pickpocket one like where they normally like to pickpocket <laughs> uh not in any specific area it's just yes. after just, dark just, typically um, just pickpocket <laughs> but you're guessing it's most likely where all the wealthy people are which would be in the bazaar itself that makes sense rich people doing night shopping like fucking assholes <laughs> and we know you close in five minutes but we want to shop now <laughs> You closed half an hour ago, and I, it's your fault that I haven't bought my microwave yet. <laughs> Damn. You've ruined Christmas. Gee, Josh, that sounds personal. <laughs> no. Are you sure no, about that? Switch. <laughs> no. <laughs> How long ago was that? Yes. Not as long as it should have been. <laughs> Literally yesterday. <laughs> Um, I guess we go to said hangout spot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I guess. You may easily do so. Um, it is a larger building. As you enter in, um, it's kind of like a library slash bookstore put together. Uh, 
and they also do sell random various magical accessories. Um, like some really cool rings and stuff. <laughs> nice. uh, also like beginner looking like low tier wands that are basically just fucking sticks. Uh, so, um, the shop's a little different. Uh, instead of like walking up to a counter, there's just people that walk around with bags full of stuff. Uh, and if you want anything, you can flag one down. I look at Briar. <laughs> huh? Oh, well, I mean... Do we see the person we're looking for here? <laughs> Go ahead and make a perception check. I, I'm, I'm deferring to Briar on, on this whole investigating random shit. Well, look, I was trying to kill time, okay? <laughs> no, no, it's fine. And I'm trying to find this stupid question mark. <laughs> what are you talking well, about, Briar? <laughs> is this some kind of weird map fetish you have? Yes. <laughs> no, no, One no. One of the maps a, had a mark a, on it. It's a right. penis, right? Maybe it was, like, just, you know, some, like, charcoal, but maybe it's something. <laughs> Briar smiles at their unresolved problems in, in Lore. <laughs> yeah, I'm very good at finding unresolved problems. There's a lot of unresolved problems in Lore. They have nothing to do with us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were about to be like, and they're all right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, too. I, I mean, yeah, we are a lot of unresolved problems. <laughs> Some of us more than others. All right. Um, you glance around the shop, and eventually, uh, you are able to find a, um, a younger-looking dragonborn that seems to match the, uh, picture and description that you were given. Description. Has scales. Yep. <laughs> Wait, is that actually the description? No. Okay, I was like, wow, this feels like yeah. some stereo type thing. <laughs> yeah, this is, it, it, it is a gold, gold dragonborn. <laughs> the artistic depiction of it just being like Trogdor the Burn Eater. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, golden dragonborn, you said? Yeah, yeah gold dragonborn. Yeah, he seems to be minding his own business, reading from a couple of books simultaneously. Is there any mention of why they're wanted for questioning? No, it just says wanted for questioning. Wanted for questioning, cool. <laughs> okay, normally the people that I'm sent to find are like, you know, convicted. They're like murderers or cultists or... This doesn't really have the same flow to it when it's just... Some kid. <laughs> then don't treat it like you're talking to a convicted killer or whatever. What? Treat, it, treat it like you're talking to a kid. How do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> How do you talk to the youth? <laughs> uh, it's really easy. Treat them like a person. Don't think of them as a kid. Give them more respect than they're usually given. How much respect are they usually given? Not a lot. All right, 
right. I walk over to the kid. <laughs> All right. Xanax goes with her. <laughs> Mew. All right. Yeah, the two of you walk over. Uh, and he, as Man, he looks up safe. from <laughs> we do from his uh, <laughs> from his books, he, like, hey. Hey. What's up? I put the paper down on top of his book, right in front of him. Is this you? Yep. The fuck did you do, kid? I didn't do anything. Why? What is that for? Congratulations. Up on the part that says wanted for questioning. <laughs> Ah, oh, not again. <laughs> again? I didn't actually believe he would do it. To be fair. Do what? Oh my god, <sighs> this is going great. Okay, well... I guess I kinda have to explain it, or otherwise I'm gonna get in trouble. So... <laughs> No, I, I, I'm not gonna tell him the, the secret, okay? He keeps wanting to find out, but it's a secret for a reason, so no matter how much I go for questioning, it's not gonna happen. And... Who does? Ow! Fuck! Hi, bud. Yes, hello. Ah, oh, of course, the bumper's in. I, I should've known. Yeah, so there's this... There's this really... <laughs> old guard that sits outside of one of the areas that I like to, to, to go for reading uh, which I go to every night for he's reading. always there waiting yeah for reading because it's a quiet secluded space away from everybody because if you go out in public people like to ask you questions so that's where I go to do my nighttime reading because it's got a light and it's secluded and nobody bothers me there. Well, there's this guard that figured out that I go over there, and he's really old, so I figured he might want a friend, so I showed him how to do this really cool magic trick, and he keeps asking me how I do it, and he said if I didn't tell him that he would have me arrested until I tell him. Sarah so holds a hand out for a high five and just... Do I believe him? Make an insight I check. Say, I, I, I'm not sure <laughs> I believe this guy. Hold on. Uh, uh. Oh, are you here too? Oh, I turned Alien. What's up? <laughs> he, uh, he seems very genuine. Saradix is still waiting for the high five. He, uh, he reaches up confused, but gives you a high five. Nice. So an old guard has a wanted poster out for you to teach him a magic trick? Yeah. He's fucking crazy. What magic trick exactly did you show him for him to be so intrigued? Oh, okay. So this one's pretty cool. Alright. Do you, have a, do you have a deck of cards? Uh, no, I gave mine away. Okay, well, I, I can't really do it without the deck of cards. Uh, but basically, the trick is that you... You know, you have a regular deck of cards. And... You... Are able to figure out... Which card you hand them... In the deck. So you basically go through, um, and you, you give them a ran- or they take a random card from the deck, and then they look at it, and then you put it back in the deck, and then you use magic to figure out which card it was that they looked at without looking at it. Okay. And this warranted... One of the oldest non-magical magic tricks. Yeah! I thought that was pretty cool. So did he. But he's out here 
being crazy. I'm just trying to have a good time. He's out here picking fights with young people over magic. Fucking crazy, man. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to swear. He's crazy! Does the guard have a name? Well, don't all guards have names? Yeah, I'm asking if you know it. Oh, I know it. And his name is Selenar. Okay, cool. That's, uh... God, how is the city so cool yet so boring all at the same time? <laughs> Thanks. Have fun. Uh, enjoy your books. I will. This one's about dragons. <laughs> mm-hmm. Awesome. Sounds super exciting. Uh, well, it, it kind of is. It's more about the death of most dragons known. Um, yeah, it's kind of sad. Yeah, kind of a sad world we live in. Try and keep an eye out for one that has a water dragon in it, though. That would be neat. What's a water dragon? Better find out. And then she'll just like walk back over to everyone else. <laughs> What's a water dragon? <laughs> As we walk away, I'm like, oh, Onyx too. <laughs> really throw this poor kid for a fucking loop. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> we have set off the beginning of a chain reaction. <laughs> He's like flipping through the books quickly and then he like gets up and runs over to another bookshelf and just starts pulling books from it uh, oh no now you're gonna be wanted for questioning <laughs> probably <laughs> made that kid's life like 10 times more exciting than it ever was gonna be we give we've, him... set, we've set him on such a better path we've given him ambition it's okay yeah we really have walk back over to the group, I'm like... Why can't there just be, like, one stone-cold killer running around? Or more people, you know, like, murdering students in a crypt. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Oh my god. Seriously <laughs> want that? Well, no, I don't want students murdered in a crypt, but, like, you know, it's just... Our options are the, the kid over there putting a spin on like a, an old card trick, a guy who wants to just, you know, pee on people, and then a pickpocket. And at this point, I don't know which one is worse. Well, sometimes, Briar, there's only one like major killer in a city, and like we took care of it. And so, like, yeah, that's it. City saved. All crime is petty crime now. Boring. <laughs> just want somebody to die, damn it. I know. It's like, someone just get like, or you know, they don't even have to die. Like maybe you know, half a limb, or you know, possession. Or there's really, plenty of we're options. We're about to go fight a war in a bit. I know, but like, we've got a long... there's going to be plenty of killing coming up. Coming Why up, don't... we have a long boat journey ahead. That's yeah. going to be also super boring, unless we're going to start committing crimes against each other on the boat. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, maybe, like, enjoy the peace before we go to war. <laughs> I've never known peace. <laughs> Sorry, that, was even, that was even too edgy for me. I'll just that, that was... <laughs> <laughs> Just like, ooh. <laughs> 
That one made me feel bad. <laughs> I had one relaxation day in that spa, and and then and that was and it was like an afternoon actually. That was and the that reset was button that I needed to want to keep killing again. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was enough for me for another like you know f couple couple years. I'm I'm. Yeah. It's wizard duel time. Leave your sister alone. She's sleeping peacefully. Then I must bug her. <laughs> I don't think he saw Juju. So he spoofed the shit out of her because he walked up on the bed and then I just hear her go, ah! I'm just like, ah! Don't fucking antagonize your sister. So, anyways. Uh, uh, unlike, Pluto, uh, unlike Pluto, Juju will smack a bitch. Well, Briar, you, you also gotta realize that you're not exactly looking in the right places. It's the middle of the day, you went to, like, the job board for, the for like, the town guard. To, like, they're not gonna put, like, a big conspiracy, like, murder thing on the, on, the, on the job board. I mean, if it was bad enough. Right, if it was bad enough where they were, like, like, going, like, like, the guards literally couldn't handle it, then yes, they would put it up there with, like, the desperate hope that someone else will. But that's just not happening. All the real crime is a little bit more subtle than that. Never so had to either... search for my own crime before. Either Corbin gave me a job to do, or bad things just kept falling into our lap. Welcome to the city, Briar. Where crime is subtle. Stupid subtle crime. <laughs> I feel like we've all learned a little bit about Briar today. She thrives on chaos. Yeah, no we shit. Knew that. <laughs> I guess I don't think no, we knew she enjoyed it. <laughs> now we know she thrives on it. She just, she needs a project. Is that, just it, can't be. I mentioned it an hour ago. Yeah. The idols. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. It's, it's not, it's not just that she thrives on chaos, but she also withers on mundanity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you said the idols, but like the idols involves us. Like we have to, we do have to go to Sarnath sooner rather than later. There's just a bunch of people well, well, here just I, like I, waiting. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, it's basically just, <laughs> if we popped over to brand, there's two of them. We could we could go do deal with the two right outside of Brand. Yeah. Outside. That yeah, that would basically be a day trip. I did go down the river right next to Brand. Huh? True. So that is a body of water I'm very familiar with. And we've and we've also been in Brand for a bit. Oh yeah, yeah. Cross crossed over the river with the uh, with the bridge too. Chopped off an arm and a leg in the harbor. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, lots, yeah, lots of yeah. bodies of water to pick from. I yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we were there to uh, dismantle a cult and d dismantle a cult. Oh well, yeah, we a lot we of cults. And cult. <laughs> we dismantled the cult at a church that had a large fountain in the courtyard. We could also just come out of that fountain. True. Oh. Is it still there? That's the way. I, that I don't know if that fountain's still there. So. That's true. <laughs> probably, better, probably better with the river. Yeah, or that's we could the, find uh, ourselves that's the in guild hall room. now. Yeah. Oh, even better. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the guild. Anything, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's almost like the... once Reelan went away. <laughs> well, it wasn't just well, Reelan. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's it also completely once. Completely destroyed in Stone Sparrow. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, when yeah, I was... followed up with the leaders, they were just like, thanks yeah, for okay. letting us know. And like, didn't give yeah. us any direction. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And then also, the soured mood from Reelan <laughs> kind of abandoning us. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I mean, in all things. A day trip to <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you, it's kind of like, what it seems you, like. If you don't want to like, just relax, like yeah, I guess we can just go to Brand, 
knock out a couple of idols while we're waiting for your girlfriend to get here, and then we can come back. You guys can have some time together before we go off to war. Hey, two, I have a question. What's up? Sending spell, you have to know the person in order to, in order to uh, contact them, yes? Um, I believe so. Let me double check. I think I think I have to be sure. Uh, above you, you do. It's just Savage doesn't have the spell, so he doesn't know. Right, it. okay. I can remember if it was, like, familiar, or you just need to know, like, the person. You, 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 have, to be, you have to be familiar with them. Yeah, okay, so I have to have at least met them. Mm. Mm. The recent supply of gold that we've just recently attained. I don't exactly like it, but we might be able to buy off the shadows for at least some time. Once we start disrupting operations, in Sonath, I'm sure that the Empire would like to hire them to deal with the problem discreetly before any actual outright conflict has to occur. That's right, I guess they are technically mercenaries, so we would be able to buy them off. I didn't even think about that. I just assumed we were gonna have to fight them at some point. It's a theoretical possibility. Like, I, I assume they were, like, under contract. But it's I'm not, kinda like... I'm not certain is the thing. Oh, okay. That's why I said it's a possibility, but I'm not... I'm not altogether too confident on it being... being an actual possibility, but if we could, that would eliminate a major potential problem. Yeah. I mean, it's worth a shot. Uh, I know you and Cyrenix didn't open up bank accounts, so... Well... If you're bringing your gold with with us to, like, on the ship, we'll have plenty of spending money for the war effort, whether that's for supplies or bribes. Right. Ideally both, but we'll have to just make use of it in what we can. That's all I really have to, uh, do the task at the current moment. Sure. I guess. Who did you want a message? I'm not entirely certain of the leader, if he's even contactable. I guess Sheer would probably be the best alternative in that case. He does seem more of the business-like. You would also know that Sheer cannot be contacted unless he wants to be. Right. Right. But I've messaged Sheer before. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean... You were receiving a collect call from... <laughs> would you like to accept the charge? Yeah, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can't force, like, a telepathy on him, but... A sending spell isn't technically like a divination magic or anything of the sort. I'll have to think about it at the very least. I don't necessarily like, we don't necessarily need to contact him now. No, I didn't even think about it, but yeah, sending is an evocation. That's weird. Huh? Sending is evocation. That is weird, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not divination, so anti divination. Or like anti psionic doesn't isn't my, affected by it. Like my guess was like maybe like illusion because it's like you're sending uh -huh. you're sending a psychic message that like appears in their brain. That could be an illusion. Yeah. But it's straight up. I'm just sending like basically a radio message out. So it's yeah, radiation. it's interesting. I didn't think about that. Weird manipulation of sound waves, I guess. I, mean, yeah. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's always been a weird one to me. But yeah, anyways. All right, then to brand. Cool. So everybody's in agreement. We're just gonna go. So 
go mess shit up for, around Brand for like a day to kill time. I mean, that does seem like the best recourse of option, at least for Briar. And I don't particularly have anything to do in the city. The resounding silence, I take it the rest are in agreement. <laughs> I'd rather be anywhere than here, so. Oh, it's not that bad, Darkalia. No, I, I mean that for Briar's sake, because she's bored out of her freaking mind. Oh, okay. Briar, like, like, literally just, like, spitting in the spot now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah Briar is actively stemming right now, just, just <laughs> so that she's not going fucking insane in her she's mind. literally pacing. Yeah, 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 both from boredom and also anxiety of, oh god, Zorsha tomorrow, oh god, oh fuck, oh god. <laughs> Do it. You can hang out with your girlfriend, and she was like, oh my god, wait, are we girl? wait, what does it even mean? What do we do? What do I, what am I supposed to it's <laughs> just like <laughs> losing her mind eternally. <laughs> oh no, she's spiraling. <laughs> yeah, it's been happening for a while, so. All right, let's head to the harbor. <laughs> <laughs> Walking to the water, my friends. <laughs> you know, oh, I just had a really, be really funny. <laughs> K2 casting that, like, pushing one of us under, like, like baptism, but then we don't come back up. It's like, oh, fuck that shit! <laughs> He's such a great dunk. way to do this spell, just dunk it. <laughs> oh, fuck, dive in after him. <laughs> like, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> Big show of it where we all just, like, like ritualistically like walk out into the water and disappear <laughs> underneath and then just don't come back up. Help I accidentally teleport a man through the ocean. <laughs> a man jump jumps in after us. Just gets gets in at the last second. Uh what the fuck are we? <laughs> like, the, what the fuck? I'm like, who are you? <laughs> Why is the water colder here? Jesus. We're in the ocean? <laughs> Yes. Uh, uh, kinda. Mm -hmm. Har Harbor Straits. Well, well, but, yeah, going from <laughs> going from Lorik, which has which has a river harbor, into Brand, which has a sea harbor. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of like a river, river sea. Yeah, it's like it's it's like right on the delta, I think. Yeah. yeah. And who's a what's it? Teleport. Ah, you guys appear in the harbor at uh, at Brand. Congratulations, you done. Hey. Congratulations. Step out of water, blow dry myself off, offer it <laughs> to anybody else who wants it. <laughs> Take the water off next to K2, getting him wet again. Every time. <sighs> you have to, to, to start first. with her. <laughs> I mean, I mean, does the city and the surrounding area look any different from the last time? No. That, that these three were here? No. Looks the same. Except now there's like a weird, like, tower <laughs> right in the center of the city. <laughs> Just like an all black tower, just like oh, and, yeah, yeah, and in big letters, nice. definitely not a cult tower. <laughs> I don't uh, remember this very confined storm being here over Brand. <laughs> well, checks out to me. <laughs> Says it's not a cult. Stop. Sorry, I have a cat in my face. Classic. Oh, no. All right, he wants attention. Watch. Do we want to deal with the North Idol first or the South Idol first? How did we miss the North Idol last time? It wasn't there the last went... time you guys came through. Oh. That was like the last idol they constructed before we nuked them. Mm -hmm. Weird. Yeah, they were placing <laughs> them as you were going. You guys got here before them the first time. 
Oh, yeah. that's right. They were actively placing. Yeah. And you guys teleported from Death Domain to Brand the last time, so you didn't even right. see it. Yup. That's right. Cool. So, yeah. North to south. I mean, he's in close north? to the... Hmm? Hmm? Alright. North it is, then. Right next okay. to the old shack the guild used to work out of. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the literal toll booth, basically. Yeah. Yeah, you guys head north, uh, and you find an area with a lot of raised pillars in the earth. Whoa. So, what do these idols do specifically? Well, they all do something different. Uh, mm -hmm. One of them suck the life force out of everything nearby. Uh, one turned your guts inside out. Mm -hmm. uh, one made like a body of water uh, kind of floating in the middle of a forest. <laughs> body of breathable water at that. Breathable mm -hmm. water, yep. Um, one was like the with the floating rock one, right? It was a floating mm -hmm. rock one. The one yeah. that was south of KDVD was like a floating rock. We yeah, 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 so like yeah. blew it up with radiant. Gotcha. Yeah. I yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, every time it, every time we got close to the thing, it would drop a rock on us. Mm hmm. And then Zorcha oh, got mad. Oh, the and just meteor stuck. one. It would like drop a meteor, right? Something uh, like that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah that's what so. it was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, that, there, was, there was a meteor one, but then there was also that one was in Sarnath, but there was oh. also just the rock one that was in. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, yeah, it was just dropping a rock from a height. Yeah. Oh. Kind of like, kind of like you know, the Looney Tunes. And then there was the spider one. The spider mm. one. Mm hmm. The big tree blew up fire. Oh yeah. The only one we've found but haven't dealt with is the gut, the, the one that makes you spill your guts. Right, because it was making us spill our guts. Because making us spill our guts. Well, well, yeah, yeah. yeah, that and also there was the, uh... Oh yeah, there was also the, like... The, the Hydra Raz. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, the fucking giant multi-headed Rebel Raz that mm -hmm. was coming after us. Yeah, so we were like, nope, fuck that shit. <laughs> so, as we get... I guess it's once we get, like, a mile out from this thing... <laughs> But we won't really know till we hit that mile out part. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of like raised pillars. Mm. Is, is there it like else going on, or there's is, just, is it like, like stone random, pillars? Like random, or are they like making like a pathway? Uh, they seem pretty random. Okay, so it's not like a fucking maze. Do they look as like as far as we can tell? Almost like they're like ruins of an older structure that were just kind of like placed here. Oh, they're pillars of earth. So the ground oh. has literally been raised. Got it. So then do we just head towards the, I guess I assume, center and then mm -hmm. break the thing? Yeah. Just be very aware. These things can hurt. Seems to be some kind of earth-based thing. Maybe it just, like, shoots mounds out of the ground? Entirely possible, yeah. I don't know if it... We haven't had one duplicate yet. We've already had an Earth-based one, so... Just be aware of not just the Earth, I guess. Well, I mean, that was, like, that was, like, rock-type. This is more of a ground-type. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, Ash Ketchum. <laughs> I'm just Either saying... <laughs> they're sort of similar, so just, you know... Either way, just be ready for anything, because we have no right. idea what this is. Right. We walk. Wee oui, wee. Oui. No. <laughs> no, we did that before we left. <laughs> Alright, you guys move past the... Uh, kind of around the pillars of raised earth uh, that do kind of form a maze, but it's not like an actual maze. It's just, you have to it's maneuver through them. Yeah, you just have to maneuver through them carefully. 
Um, how fast are you going? Walk I mean, scary? Well, yeah, I, I mean, I guess if we want to be cautious, maybe like half speed. I'm floating. <laughs> That's fair. I am just walking normally and keeping an eye out. <laughs> I'm going to run around ahead and see if I actually trigger anything. So I'm kind of like jogging speed. I'm doing half. My clunky ass has to climb some of this shit. It don't. It don't work. No, there's no <laughs> climbing. There's a there's a walkable path. Unless you want to climb. Ugh. Ugh. Either way, right. dude, my clunky ass. I don't want to get stuck nowhere just because I move too fast. All right. So then I would need everybody to make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, God fuck. damn it, fuck you. God damn yes. you. Even me floating? Yes. Okay. Uh -oh. that, that, that's pretty on brand. So I don't exist anymore. Bye. You're not that low health. No, he's just gonna make me float in the sky and like disappear and die. <laughs> yeah, it's up the gravity one. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> it fucking might be, actually. It could be. <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah, that's all five of you. Um, yeah. I'm so used to more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, Tarkalian, uh, you're the only one that saved. <laughs> yeah, that, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, uh, God. Too. I rolled poor. Uh, everybody else, please roll me ten d ten. This is how many uh, gems we find, right? Because of all oh the un God. because of all the unearthed rock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that checks out. Ooh. Okay, so um, that is the height that your respective pillar uh, launches up to. They were like, uh, like a pill, like underneath us. All of a sudden, a pillar just goes like, "Whoa, bam!" Yep, exactly. <laughs> no, so, Jesus. Um, K two, you can fly, so you don't fall back to the earth, uh, suffering the fall damage. Oh no! <laughs> um, everybody else, because it's one d six for every ten feet you fall. Oh. I mean, yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah, not it's not. Um, so it would be uh, Selvix and Briar, because we round up for this. You guys would take full 24. Um, Saranix, you would take 23. <laughs> 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 A little one at the end. Yeah. <laughs> Quite the difference. Wow, uh... As you are launched into the sky, falling to the ground next to the spot that you were just in. It's just like... Uh, oh god, ow. So maybe we should all back out and... Uh, K2, if you want to fly in there, maybe? Well, K2 got yeeted too! I yeah, mean, but, he, but he's now flying, fly. so he doesn't have to worry about falling. Yeah, uh, I didn't say float, yeah, you know. I said fly. <laughs> Yeah, so every once in a while I'll just get yeeted up into the air like, alright, kind of drift back down. Oh god, okay. <laughs> it's like a fun ride. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, yeah, I can do that. One man down range. I'm okay with that. Alright, so the rest of you are exiting the pillars. Probably yeah. for the best. All right. What speed are you moving? <laughs> I'm running. <laughs> Yeet. Why does it matter? It matters. Because that's what's triggering everything, and I hate it. I don't know. I would 
recommend we figure it out quick. Slow speed, whatever, I don't care. I get, I, I get the sense that you either have to all be slow or all be fast. So, if one person is running, then everybody should run. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so all sprinting, I take it. Uh, yeah. Horrible idea. Okay. Alright. Well, then you exit the pillars with no problems. Oh! Okay. Alright. K2, you manage to fly your way through the pillars, uh, getting launched up a few times on the way. Whoop de doo. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Before you make it to the middle. <coughs> Alright. What are we looking at? Uh, you're looking at a idol. That appears to be made out of solid rock. Cool. All cool. right. And my first, my first two immediate thoughts are either acid or thunder damage. Because uh, so, like, we figured out that like it's a specific damage that's needed, right? It's, it's specific just, damage types for each one, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. not just it's not just like oh, we already used fire on another one, so it can't be fire. Like it, like mo like just, multiple things is weak to fire. Uh, we haven't we I mean, haven't nothing, nothing we haven't had weak, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Um, oh no, and it can't be acid because we used that one on the first one. Well, it could well, be acid, but it, it is unlikely acid, to be. Because multiple things are weak to acid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But all uh, yeah. something makes me think thunder. All right. Sure. I will uh, spend a sorcery point to launch a thunderball. All right. It. You launch your thunderball. Uh, it makes a loud boom, and the idol is remaining. Okay. Alright. No thunder. I think what else? She's an acid, fire, radiant, cold, I think. I just won't remember anymore. I was tired. Wait. I got a better idea. Okay. How do I break this thing? <laughs> oh my god. No, that's fair. <laughs> All right. Yeah, your future self comes out and says, "Have you tried lightning?" <laughs> no. Oh. No, I didn't. I haven't tried lightning, which which then does yeah disprove the theory that they're all. Oh god damn it! All right. Yeah. Lightning ball. <laughs> all right. Yeah, you use the lightning ball and completely obliterate the statue. Yay! Yeah. yeah so that that does disprove the theory that they're all unique because. I did use lightning on the uh, the one in the forest. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, they are not unique. They just you just happened to get the ones <laughs> that, <laughs> that were <laughs> that were yeah yeah. Because I think like the necrotic one, I I did I I, did, I either used acid or fire on that one. You used acid. I used acid, yeah. Because it was, like, metallic, I think. I think that was... It funny. was. Yay. And it was basically, ah, fuck, do something, just, ah, fuck, go! And it, that works. <laughs> right, because it, we were actively dying. 
Yeah, I think, I think yeah, someone was like actively unconscious, and I don't yep. remember who it was. I think it might have been Rava. Yeah, because it was like a mile to get there. We were taking a shit ton of necrotic damage every time. Oh I, yeah, and, I was definitely fucked. And we were like level six or something at the I, time. I, I don't remember if it was. I don't remember if we actually were taking damage. It was just like it was uh, actively uh, turning your stomachs inside out. No. No, 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 I thought different. that was the that was the the one. Oh, that, 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 different. no, yeah, 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 yeah. It was basically like a desiccating aura. Like I don't think we were taking damage. It was just like I thought, I thought we were taking the, damage. No, no, I think it was just as we were failing saves, like we we were getting like basically turbo exhaustion. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was like Rava failed both her con saves and like just went unconscious. It, there was no health damage. I think you're also confusing it from the time we were on that one little island over here where we were taking like acid rain damage. No, I remember we were having that. to run from building to building if we could. That wasn't what I was thinking, of, but that too. But anyway, it's, yeah, it's either way. destroyed now. All right. Yeah. So you destroy that statue. Yay. Yeah. And there wasn't like anything like in the statue that we needed, right? It was just there. Just... No. Yeah. No. Correct. You just destroy it. Yeah. And you're okay. Cool. Like, no. All right. I fly back. It's like I did it. It was lightning this time. Huh. Lightning again. Yeah. So I don't think they're unique. Hmm. Well, now we know. Hmm. Alright, cool. Well, wanna head back across the bridge and head to the south one now? Yep. Yeah, I suppose we might as well while we're here. Also, All what right. time of day is it? Just curious. Uh, it's like early afternoon. Okay, there's still plenty of time then. Yeah! Alright, to the South Brand Idol. Alright, yeah, you guys cross the river and start making your way that way. Um, as you get closer, a bright light seems to appear before you. Uh, I need everybody to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh no! Oh, man, oh no! What, what, what is this against? Blindness. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh jeez. Safe. Hopefully. Woo. Oh. Okay. So, uh, Sarah next and Briar, you are not blinded. Woohoo! Uh, everyone else is. No damage, just blindness. Who turned the sun off? Can I tell what caused the attempted blindness? It's probably the really bright light sitting above a strange idol you've never seen before. <laughs> nice. Hey, I think this one causes blindness, you guys. Oh. Like back at our blind friends, I'm like, yeah, I think so. What? <laughs> Who's talking? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you need... All right, never mind. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Not even gonna bother with that one. Must have been uh, the wind. I'm gonna like. I don't know if this is gonna. So it's 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 only like if we look at it, it's fine. It was only like the pulse of bright white of bright light that made them go blind. As far as you can tell. I don't know if it's gonna pulse again. <laughs> I lined myself up accordingly. Turn around and walk backwards. 
Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I can't see shit, but I feel like something stupid is happening. <laughs> no, 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 don't, don't worry. I put up, I put up two middle fingers to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna watch her go and see how far she gets. Okay. <laughs> oh, you yeah. should have had you take a rope so that we could, like, guide them across. Yeah, you walk backwards up to this thing, uh, bumping into it as you get there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, if I don't look up at the bright light, or I guess it depends on how tall this thing is, am I able to just, like, look down at this without looking at the light? <laughs> I don't know how high up the light's floating. <laughs> uh, it's right above it, so no, you can't. Oh, okay. <laughs> Turn around, squinting really hard. <laughs> hmm. What does it look like this idol's made of? Hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one seems to be made from an organic flower material. Ooh. Uh, oh, flower? Oh, I don't have any. Oh. Yeah, it's literally just a bunch of flowers put together, like smushed together. Poison or fire, maybe? Well, <laughs> considering the two of you both have easy access to fire, try that first. <laughs> I pull out a Molotov cocktail. Oh my god. I don't see any way else to get fire? This is the most efficient way, and Serenix is still back with you guys. Is it like 2d6 damage or something? I have. I mean, I don't know if we've had damage thresholds on these things. That's because I just keep fireballing it and it's enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I <laughs> light a all <Malta> cocktail <laughs> and then I just smash it on this idol. <laughs> nice. That's literally right. right in front of me, so I can't imagine that I miss. <laughs> you do not. Does anything happen? Uh, yeah, you hurt yourself in the process. That's so, uh, please roll damage. The 2d6? Yes. <laughs> Alright, you take five. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I take five? Because you're resistant to fire, aren't you? No, mm -hmm. not. That was the one I. That oh, was that's the, right. That that's was right. Like the one that I missed. Then, uh, you, then you take nine points of damage. Ah, uh, damn. <laughs> Demon that's not resistant to fire. That's hilarious. Shut the fuck mm -hmm. up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to hear it from you. <laughs> it hurts. Um, but nothing happens to the idol. Nothing happens to the animal. Now what's happening? <laughs> I put fire on it and nothing happened, but I don't know if it wasn't enough fire. <laughs> Where is it? I can throw some fire at it. Uh, on me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna. Shoot no. a fireball at fire. No, oh, no. God. I put myself on the other side of the idol, so it's between me and K2. Okay. And then I just go, follow the sound of my voice. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. So you fireball on Briar. Yeah, here, let me, let me roll the damage for you. Ooh, that's a weak fireball. You're doing it as fire as well? Yeah. Okay. Easy enough. Uh, you One do it. One fireball is fire damage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It doesn't happen a lot. It's true. Um, you fireball. Uh, it explodes. Briar, make a deck save. Yep. <laughs> I have to be able to see it to protect you. That's fine. We're good. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, all right. You take 11 points of fire damage as it explodes and the idol remains standing. Nothing happened! 
I don't know, you tried... Death? Necrotic is kind of a great one for... Leafs. That's so true. I'd have to bite it, and that seems like a bad idea. <laughs> That's an awful idea. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me try. <laughs> sound of my voice! Or wait, hang on. I was going to say, hit? Mind. I forgot, I have told I have told the dead, but I don't know if I can told the dead. I, I, I think told the dead specifies a creature. It, it specifies a creature. Oh, I would have done it already. I mean, yeah, I guess yeah. you'll just kill touch. I don't know, I don't know. Well, it's made of plant material. Plants are alive. Plants are a creature type. Therefore, this idol is a creature. It's made of dead flowers. Cause... Oh, they're dead flowers? Yeah, and you oh, know no. what a corpse flower is? You know. I rest my case. I didn't know they were flower. dead flowers. Yeah. Also, Wait, I, I should point out. Flowers, so I just. I should point out. Alive. Like I, I, I looked, and a majority, if not all, of like necrotic damaging spells specify it has to be a creature. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'd want this one stand because it's, I, I mean, I've done shit with Eldritch blasts that, you know, normally you can't do, but it because it specifies creature, but. No, oh, the rule, of, rule of fun. Yeah. Yeah, no, it does. The rule of cool. I have definitely let people Eldritch Blast objects. Yeah. <laughs> it just seems like most... it makes sense, you know? Yeah, most <laughs> it people do. It just seems like an energy blast. Uh, so does necrotic work? Yeah, necrotic works. Yeah. As you chill touch the plant, uh, it just withers away. Uh, leaving no idol behind. Did I get it? Does it light No, try alive? again! Okay, I shoot another um, chill touch at Briar because that's okay. where she told me to aim. Okay. I believe that misses. No, I have an AC of 16. Oh, yeah. 16, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was 19 for some reason. Okay, yeah. No. Briar, you took 13 necrotic, reduced to 7. No, I think Briar has the lowest AC of all of us. I do. Wait, is this where I get my first charge of my fucking shirt? <laughs> You could if you really wanted to. What are the chances that anything else happens today? I don't know. Pretty slim, right? Uh, a a anywhere from zero. Er, it's either zero or a hundred. I literally haven't got to use it yet. I'm never going to upgrade this shirt at this rate because I just it's like... like... Yeah, like I said, it's either zero or a hundred. You know what? Fuck it. Make, we ball. Make your mark. <laughs> I'll make myself immune to this chill touch. Okay. <laughs> You, you do so. From the seven damage. <laughs> Woo! As I come out of like my immunity, I'm just like, you got it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I must have missed it because all I heard was that the leaves die away. Yes. But I didn't actually hear the full thing. Fucking yeah, it, 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 okay. it, the whole thing withers away. Yeah. Okay. Yep, yep, they yep, yep, they yep, started yep. being like chill touch times two when I tried asking, so. No. Mm -hmm. Wanted to make sure. Now, no, here's the no, question. No, that's just Briar being a shit heel. Here's the question Does Briar have disadvantage on an all for attack rolls until the end of my next turn? <laughs> uh, no. He doesn't get shot on the end. Oh! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I just wanted to see if it would still affect you. <laughs> because you're also undead adjacent. I'm undead adjacent, but not as much. You're much yeah, more undead yeah, adjacent. Yeah, but she does not have the undead creature type. That's yeah. true. Or, or or any racial feature that says that she counts as. Mm -hmm. How that long are they blind? Are they still? How long do we wait around until they're no longer blind? How long do you wait? Until they're no longer blind. Okay. No, I get bored. I pick one of these fuckers up. I'm like, all right, I'm, uh, I'm going back. Uh, as soon as as soon as they say the idol's fucking gone, I'm, I'm less of restorationing myself. Okay. <laughs> I'm not fucking I'll waiting. I'll take care of everybody. All right. So then they are no longer blinded. <laughs> well, <laughs> right, never mind then. All right then. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! You know, I didn't think uh, blinded was going to be that big of an issue, but it's good to know that we've got a lot of ways of curing it. 
Good job, team. <laughs> High fives. Yay. Gotta be useful for something. I was say, my, my solution was to just uh, cut out my eyes and grow new ones. <laughs> <laughs> that's one way. I, yeah, so I mean, it certainly works. <laughs> sure, buddy. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, if the eye fits. Ugh. I hope so. Where is the eye fitting? <laughs> In the one eye. Grows oh, back obviously. slightly larger. Josh, Josh. Where are the eyes going? Are they going in a jar? <laughs> in a socket! Um, I guess we head back to the water, and can you send us back to Loric today, or do you have to wait till tomorrow? No, I can do it today. Alright, well... I guess we're, I guess we're done here. <laughs> yeah. There's that other one to the southwest, but that's, like, several days walk. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's mm -hmm. a few days, and... Not a good idea. There's also the Jasher estate that's just that way. It's like point. Yeah, yeah, the, the theoretical Jasher estate because we never investigated it. Mm -mm. That's where it would be, though. <laughs> so for yeah, for all we know, we get there and just oh look, here's Atramir. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. In this instance, he's not saying hi back. No. So, no, 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 unless you wife. have a third level necromancy that spell. The wife. <laughs> same old, same old, I suppose. <laughs> All right, I guess we head back to the water. Please, actually, yeah, you're yeah, dead. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? That, yeah, well, we never investigated it. We don't know if it's just free and clear, or if it's full of monsters. I assume that between him, his uh, assassin wife, and psychopath son, they can take it out. We are free to assume that. That does not necessarily mean that that is the way that it happens. True. For all, for all we know, the whole estate is a mimic. Very, very big mimic. <laughs> Score. No, worse. It's just the ball of a giant angler fish right off the coast. Oh, God! <laughs> Fucking Christ! <laughs> that thing would be massive. Yeah. Like, it could eat, like, half of Bran. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we head back to Bran, and then submerge back to Lorik. Done. Mm -hmm. This time, I dry off Briar first. Damn it. He remember. He's <laughs> learning. Shit. <laughs> and the whole town is up in flames. Wait, what? We were gone for like three hours. <laughs> yes! No. <laughs> just runs into the fire like, what? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You're not resistant. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that was funny. Alright. Another another night spent at the hotel before Zorsha shows up. Ryder <laughs> <laughs> just spends the whole night just pacing her room. <laughs> Adjunct to that before we get to the next morning. Uh, I do want to bug Briar. Oh, no, <laughs> Briar just pacing around. Yeah. Yeah, just. Yeah, I assume knock on the door. I assume there's just no response as Briar is within her own head right now. <laughs> it's just unlocked. It's always unlocked. Yeah. It's always unlocked. Jeez. Briar, are you. Are you doing alright? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Most unconvincing yes you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming it's about, um... That woman. Zosha, what was that her name? Why would you say that? Why would you say it like that? 
<laughs> that woman. <laughs> it's almost like Salvix is good at is good with words only in specific contexts, and this is not one of them. <laughs> oh, is she coming tomorrow? Yes. Listen, his poor artistic ass doesn't know how to fucking deal with situations like this. Okay. <laughs> what is love? This is not a meme. I'm genuinely asking. <laughs> I don't know either. Don't look at me. We're two, we're two peas in a very unloved pod. Oh. <laughs> That's not true. I have my sister. Not that type of love. Not that kind of love, yeah. <laughs> Completely different. Exactly. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, but Briar's voice, like, pitches up a bit. Like, yeah. pop, higher than you've ever heard it. Like, uh, why would you think that? Like, Because I've never seen you this nervous before. She just like stops and like leans up against like a wall or something and it's just like, I'm not nervous, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> like you're trying to like act natural yeah. when it's like yeah. super <laughs> awkward looking. Yeah. Like her foot's just like continuously tapping, tapping like, over yeah. and over her finger it's like all thing like they're cross, and she's just like literally twitching everywhere possible. <laughs> you don't have to make the facade around me. I'm not doing it for your sake. <laughs> no. Fine. Did you need something? This is actually, you know what? Perfect timing, Salvix. What do you need? <laughs> I guess when my sister was, shall we say, putting you under an inquisition about Zosha, it didn't exactly seem like either her nor K2 gave you an exactly resounding message of hope on your current situation. Briar just thinks to herself, like, damn, here I thought I was going to be getting out of this kind of conversation, and I'm right back in! <laughs> uh, I mean... Not exactly here to inquisit it further. You've been... We're under the hot lamp enough. I think it's mostly the K2 just really enjoys messing with me, and Serenix probably just... Really enjoys messing with you, yes. Yes. Yeah. No. I think they're just letting me, you know, flounder in my own situation, because it's not like this... You know, harmful or detrimental to me in any way. It's just a situation that I have to, you know... Deal with on my own, even though I really don't want to deal with it on my own because I don't know how to deal with it on my own. Were you here to come give me some kind of message of hope? I suppose I was more here to ask you about it. Not, again, not in an inquisitorial sense. No, no, go ahead. I mean, maybe it'll help. Maybe if I talk about it more, it'll make me less. That was kind of my hope, yes. Sure, go ahead. What's... What do you see in her? What draws you to her? Really just... Didn't want to start small, huh, buddy? <laughs> Have you ever known me to? I don't... Know me that well, I know. Really know you, but you know, I... sure. <laughs> for the few, for the little bit I have known you, I guess I've never really seen you do anything small. You are, you are right. Yes. 
I don't know. I guess it's... How do I... Even I don't really... I don't want to say I don't know. I do know. I just don't know why I feel like this or... Because I've never really ever felt like this. It's just... It's just... It's... Okay, strange is also not a good word. I'm trying to not use words that don't sound good when I'm talking about her because I tend to do it. It's a often. new experience. Sure, that's a good one. It's... I guess it's just, I just don't know. It's hard to know what this is because I don't even know what this is, and I could probably ask Orsha about it. She could, she would, she would probably, she would probably tell me. That would probably be the case. I would, I would hope, or at least together, you two could define it more. We'll see about that. That's terms. a really long. It feels like so long ago now. And I just, so much happened that I forgot about it. Um, but there was a con, well, there was supposed to be a conversation, there was half of a con, I don't know. There was an attempt at a conversation, at a discussion about what this is, was, is, I, and I maybe sort of, What's a what's a good way to ran ran away? I ran away. See, is that what's causing you this anxiety? Then you being uncertain of if that may have put the conversation to rest in a way that you didn't want it to. No, no, it's more that I know that I need to have the conversation, but I don't know how to have the conversation, and the conversation, I guess, is terrifying because, you know, if if it, it, it goes well, then, you know, she, she already means something to me, but then she'll, like, really mean something to me, and then what if... What if she... Then what if I, like, lose her at some point? You don't know a ton about me, but I don't do well with loss. <laughs> In... Unfortunately, given what you are, you are far more predispositioned to it than most. But that is not to say that you should be afraid of having something just because you may eventually lose it. There is a lot to be said about individuals that, for the fear of losing something, never sought to attain it to begin with, and their lives are stained with that regret. Obviously, love is not just some thing, it's something, it's something you share with another person. Or even that. I don't really have much in the way of making this conversation easier for you, or any advice, perchance. Or... No, this is this is this 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 has been helpful. I mean, it's something I've, you know, I've obviously learned a lot about the losing and the being okay with the losing and healing from the loss and all that kind of stuff. It's still terrifying, but... I can only imagine. I mean... Yeah. Again, from what little I know about you, you've also... <laughs> you lost something pretty big, too. <laughs> A few different ways of speaking, I suppose, yes. But... So... 
I do not imagine it will be an easy conversation, no, but it is certainly one that needs bears having. For, regardless of the result, at least the conversation was had. Knowing where you stand does help assuage the mind of a lot. A lot oh. of fear. Yes. I recall a uh, a story that my father told me that he was in much similar position with uh, my mother, where he was so captivated by her that he was afraid to even approach her for fear of her saying no. Of course, my father was not exactly an uh, observant man. He did not see that my mother was absolutely smitten with him as well. It's not exactly something I've entirely understood. I look at them when I see my parents, but... I suppose I wouldn't be able to see it. Though... So, Based on the way that she ended your conversation, at least the way that everyone else seems to assume that it ended, I don't think you have. I <laughs> <But> blush. <laughs> Just like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't think you have much to actually worry about. I don't think that she would respond in such a way if she felt negatively about you. As terrifying as it, as it is, being vulnerable with her will be probably the best way to achieve the result that you want. As much as we may not, we may not necessarily like it, sometimes we do have to let the armor off. Let people see us for what we are beneath. But a mortifying ordeal of being known or something. I don't know. Well, that's that's not even that's that's not the scary part. Mm. You asked me, you know, at the start of this conversation, things that I see in her and all that, and that's one of the things is that she is our she already sees me. And I can just be me. And nothing that is or was or will be really matters. The scary part is just knowing that if I do have her, then, you know, I can lose her. Or maybe it would just be easier to just, you know, let it go and live through the forever with the pain of not having her. I don't know. Neither way would be easy, but I think the pain would be more rewarding if you were to struggle with her rather than to just let her go her own way and then you would have to live with the unknowing of if it would have worked forever. I know. I know you're right, it's just... I know I would become an insufferable person if I... let her go, and then... I would never hear the end of it from K2. Yes. That, and I believe that, um... Well... I suppose not to moralize from my own pulpit, but I feel that... Our uh, recently departed vampire financier um, had a bit more avarice than he was willing to part with, and may have something like that was the original cause. In any case, um, I'm not totally sure where I was going with that, actually. Uh, anyways, but yes. It, uh, 
players of the heart and emotion are not my forte, obviously. You didn't but... do that bad. I mean, I know I'm not exactly... It's not exactly that. You didn't have to dig all that deep to get down to the root of my problems, but... You did a good job. This helped. I feel... Less... Everything. Less burdens, perhaps? Yeah, I still kind of feel like my insides are trying to crawl to be on my outsides, but mm -hmm. I don't think that's going to go away for until a conversation is had, so... Probably not, but... At least maybe you have a, a, at least a little more confidence in yourself. With more of a concrete, yes, go do it. Rather than, oh, I don't know, should you or should you not? Oh, ooh. K2 really seems fond of those, doesn't he? That was, that was, mm -hmm. <laughs> Putting that express, just like the same that somebody just did, and then just imagining on K2, like, it was a good try. <laughs> it was really the, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> It's also just really funny seeing like a seven foot tall dragonborn that you've only known to be direly serious. Oh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> like, it rose all the mystery of him. That's why yeah. Theronix never takes him serious. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. I've had those exact same interactions with like the doctors I work with. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're just like a really goofy guy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take you seriously now. Yeah. <laughs> You're just some dude that makes bad jokes, not an actual doctor. Like, especially the Russian one is the goofiest. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just, like, sort of shakes out her hands like, I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> It's either going to be the best or the worst decision, but her best result doesn't matter. Yep. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. The decision to do it is more important than the result. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well. <laughs> do you think if I wear a groove in this floor from pacing so much that K2 will get mad at me? You can afford think... to replace it now. True, thank you, Ghost of Serenix Past. <laughs> it's not even K2 that comes like to talk to you, it's like what it's like Reginald or someone else. Yeah. Like, yes, we've gotten complaints from the person directly underneath you. <laughs> Did you, if you need, take if... off your armored boots before you pace the floor? If you need a pacing yeah. pad, we do have those available. <laughs> Fuck off, Reginald. I don't need your stats right now. <laughs> I'm going through it. It's it's just like like floor pad padding that you put down yeah. to walk on. <laughs> it doesn't mess with the floors. We acknowledge you're stressed out. However, you're stressing others out around you and specifically below you, so please use the pad. <laughs> Is it the physical movement that's helping allay your stress? No, this isn't really helping at all. I'm just like trapped in this box of a room and it's just, I feel like it's everything is just, like, closing in on me. I'm so so much. Of every decision. Go to the rec room. <laughs> there is a... I suppose it's some kind of exercise room, but there's a large enough field in there. Sometimes it helps me when I am stressed to... Spar. These ideas over Theronex of Bishop, but Theronex is currently loudly asleep. You want to just go beat the shit out of each other? Do you think that'll help? I think that'll help. Uh, it might help you. <laughs> yeah, it'll definitely help me. <laughs> cool. The idols really didn't give me enough to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Briar and Salvis go beat the shit out of each other. Yep. Br Br Briar now understands what it feels like to be on the bad side of Salvix when she gets hit with 60 points of damage in one hit. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Fuck my lung! <laughs> cool. Just, like, and just collapses the sharp. lung. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Briar bite, yeah. Briar bites down on him and then discovers that his his blood tastes like holy silver. <laughs> Good thing I'm not a dead bitch. <laughs> Good thing you're not undead. That's still forty six radiant damage. <laughs> He's just like, I thought I had sharp teeth. Get off of me, you little shark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Something sharper than tiny Saranex. That's true. I know these are pretty big teeth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway. End scene. <laughs> that's all I had. Okay. Anybody have anything else they wanted to do this day before the long rest? Uh, yeah. I am going to cast a uh, ninth level contingency to cast an eighth level armor vagathus on myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the uh, the same the same uh, triggering effect as last time. It went I mean, it, my it, 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 hit it with a good, melee attack. It did good damage. <laughs> yeah. And now it'll be a little bit more spicier because I can do eighth level. All right. A little extra damage on top of that. A little more. Uh... You may be able to get three hits out of it. Maybe. A whole hundred and four or hundred and twenty gold damage. Not hundred. Yeah. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Yeah, that would be fun. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's all I had. I didn't have it. All right. So with that, you guys head to sleep for the night, uh, gaining the benefits of a long rest, and we will end session uh, the day that uh, Zorsha's supposed to be coming to town. Oh god, I really hope Corbin meant he was going to be going to fucking KDVD. <laughs> We can only hope. Oh, no. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can only hope, which definitely means that he's gonna show up at about the same time. Yeah, because I, like, I'm thinking about, I, like, I assumed that he was gonna like have some kind of fast means of travel. What if he's literally just walking here? Yeah, just. I mean, he might. Means, like, w like based on when sh they left, that he's maybe like a day behind them. Mm. Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna I'm gonna end the recording here before we get into even more conversations. So thank you guys for watching, and we will Bye. catch you next week. Have a good night. And the bear.